Welcome to the St. Louis Podcast. I'm your glorious host today, Eric Brown. We got Katie Baker. We got Chris Reisner and the one trembling in the corner. <laughs> Worried about what I'm going to ask him. Clayton Atoli, the CEO of West County Insulation. Hello. Ooh. As uh, I think some of our listeners know, of course, at, at Vi Media, we also own a holding company. Clayton Natoli leads uh, our insulation company that we own with him. So uh, yeah, glad to have him on the and podcast. even more important, he's also your roommate. That's true, too. I think yeah. that's... We'll keep that on the DL, though. <laughs> Roomie. <laughs> it's important, yeah. <laughs> All right. And with that said, uh, each and every Friday at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time, we drop an episode on all major podcasting, audio, and video platforms. We take no breaks here. We're, we're coming out with an episode every single week. Uh, you know where to find them, Spotify, Apple, YouTube, major uh, social media platforms, and more, where we meet with the most badass people and creators to talk about business, entrepreneurship, and current events. We'll see what we get into today. God knows. Our list is a little odd. Uh, first thing up, Clayton, are you ready for Christmas? You're not, you're not a big holiday guy. You don't, you don't like people celebrating your birthday. Yeah. You're actually known as the guy that doesn't answer his phone on your birthday. Mm -hmm. No, I think I did this time at least. Oh, this year you did? Yeah. But he no. answered his phone, but he didn't let us buy him a cake. Yeah. Oh, that's right. never did get a cake for him. Yeah. No, that I appreciate that. That was good. And guess who's but, coming uh, through the door right now with the cake? Just kidding. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> but, yeah, no, Christmas, I'm very uh, not prepared. I don't even know what to ask for at this point. I think I was supposed to have something for my parents to uh, have an idea for this weekend, and, no, that's long gone. Wait, do you guys still get gifts? Yeah. Oh, shit. I don't get gifts. Your parents don't love you. God, Apparently. <laughs> Either one, you don't get or give gifts. Nothing. Do you give your parents gifts? So I've got like five brothers and sisters. So we like do uh, a white elephant exchange. That's between too us. much. That's yeah, that's too much. But our people. parents usually don't. Or it'll just be like cash. Damn. Okay. Do you get them gifts? Let's now it's sad. Can we give them a call right yeah, now? Yeah, I get them gifts. <laughs> yeah, like goddamn. She gets scammed enough online. What? Your mom? <laughs> when was my mom scammed online? Or is that your grandma? I don't know what you're referring to. Are you, well, <laughs> your mom or grandma always text you about like scams. Oh, yeah, that my she's mom will. Okay, yeah. okay. Why she are you acting like scammed. you don't know what I'm talking about? Okay. Because she, she hasn't been scammed. She always checks with me first. Knock on wood. We'll keep that yeah. going. <laughs> we'll keep that going. Yeah, Christmas is a weird time of the year. Uh, it seems like most businesses and people I've talked to really don't care right now. They're kind of just packing at home, sending it home. I mean, we're off all next week. I've I've seen companies that gave off from the twelfth or the last la or this Monday through the second. Two weeks. That's wild. I wish. That's too much. <laughs> yeah, we have Christmas off, but we've got jobs booked for all the other days. That I week. was gonna say the best, one of the best Christmas presents you can probably buy yourself. Uh, you know, your husband, your wife, your partner. You know, for your kids, maybe they're hot or cold <laughs> in the basement. Insulate your home. <laughs> yes, yes. Insulate your home, ladies and gentlemen. Westcountyinsulation.com. You can go there, fill out a form. You'll hear from one of the swell gentlemen over at West County. Wait, wait, wait. We'll Why didn't of. you immediately say the children are in the basement? You just throw your kids I down the, there? I live in the basement. Yeah, well, usually if you have like a sub-finished basement or f even finished basement, that's where the parents send the kids to get the fuck out of their face. Mm -hmm. Go to the basement. I got like the entire second floor. What and basements fuck? are cold. And basements are cold. Yeah, I have, Good no, insulation. I have no windows in my room. Damn. It's amazing. That's actually not a bedroom. That's I use it. I know. I use it. Yeah, that one. breaks the fire code. That's technically. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up in the morning and I have no clue what time Wait, it is. Wait, at your apartment? No, at my parents' house. I, don't, I haven't lived in my apartment since like May. I thought you oh. went to a new apartment. Mm -mm. You're supposed to you're know your behind. coworkers, yeah. Eric. Oh, you're awesome. way behind. I'm going to take a. Oh, yeah. Shout out uh, Barrel King, by the way. <laughs> Barrel King. Shout out Barrel King from they Bourbon, Missouri. This? Uh, I finally, oh, you know, I think, I think I've talked about them before, definitely on the podcast, but finally decided to bring it in. Yeah. That's their batch five and 10 proof. Holy shit, Matt, by the way, the sugar plum one I was talking about, I opened it up. It's literally amazing. Oh, why don't you bring a little bit of that? I, I've, 
I fucked up. I should have. <clears throat> I'm saving yeah. it for my family, though, over Christmas. It was incredible. Clayton had some. Yeah, no, that was good. Um, it was plum washed. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. we're not family. You can't bring us a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> what this? You know, the rye, the batch. You know, bear, uh, bottle five and what bottle sixty four. The sixty four that you had originally was the first bottle I ever bought there. It's incredible. The first bottle that's now officially gone as well from them. So there we go. One bottle down. I got like ten more at the house. So <laughs> and I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, but yeah, in- incredible. The first time we're drinking official alcohol on the podcast because last time we had the fake. Uh, we had margaritas. The D. Oh, that's yes. right. Mm-hmm. We had the fake Bloody Marys though. We didn't actually have vodka yeah. in those Bloody Marys. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, some people have to go back juice? to work after this. It was, it was like just her the mix. mix. It was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Carrie's Marys. Mm. Shout out Carrie's Marys. You can find them at most grocery stores. Yeah, I've seen it. It's like 10 bucks. Yeah, nine ninety nine. actually. Mm-hmm. We're just planning to talk about products this whole episode. I just saw this. Like we want to get into topics. Okay, let's get into topics. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just saying, we, we've we run out. And we, we, did we even do an official Oh, my God, hands? yeah. Also, what do, what do we got Cam here? Cam and Strick pro- Podcast. Yeah. Mango Cam- Lemonade. Uh, yeah, shout out the Cam and Strick Podcast. And Four Hands. Being Those recorded directly out of Half Coast Studio. Mango Lemonade. What's the, good. What's the sugar content on this? Is this, is this gonna feel like make you feel like shit after you drink it? Fun fact: alcohol oh gosh, doesn't have has, to have. It uh, even has their little logo on it. Yes. Sir. That's awesome. Yeah, it even like it says their name. Yo, can Four Hands make us a beer? I want an IPA. Let's make a double IPA together. Ten percent. Hey, reach out to them. <laughs> they probably would. Let's go. <laughs> I'll, I'll, you know, I'll drink it on the podcast every day. My, you know, most people probably won't appreciate that when it's two o'clock after drinking some IPAs. Yes, but. as Eric comes yeah. in here at eleven thirty in the morning, he will fucking drink it every day. Yeah? <laughs> Just got to plan Tuesdays. Tuesdays is for the content, right? Yes, and also yeah. drunk Eric. Apparently, that's right. That's right. <laughs> we need a drunk marketing Tuesday episode. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. <laughs> in- instead of going over just uh, who's Atrioc, he has the marketing Monday. The marketing Monday. It'll yeah. be the drunk marketing Tuesday, following up on his marketing Monday. It'd be pretty good. <laughs> just mm-hmm. doing a review of his. Is it, well, what was the show on MTV uh, or Comedy Central? Drunk History. Yeah. Do you ever, did you guys ever watch Drunk History? A few of those. Dude, yeah, we need to bring funny. that back with Shane Gillis. Oh my God, have you watched Shane Gillis and uh, Louis C.K. go through all of the presidents? <laughs> no, I saw no. that video, but no, I did not watch it. They have four, a four-part <laughs> podcast. They're all like an hour and a half each, and they go through pretty much every single president. But like, what were they going over? Like, just funny shit. What they did. It was. Are it was like just... a. It was like a history podcast with comedians. Okay, so are they history buffs? Or are they just looking stuff up the whole time? Yes, they're history buffs. Nice. Yeah. Before we get too watch. far in, uh, did you guys hear about the president's motorcade getting smashed yes. into by a drunk driver? Uh-huh. No. We were just talking about drunks. I mean, that's a good way to start it. Yeah, but where in the motorcade? <laughs> like, where did they get to? Like, was it the his? Front, the front. No, no. no. If, if it was the president's one, I guarantee the dude would probably be facing murder charges. <laughs> it's just drunk driving right now or well, driving on under it's, the ambulance. It's so funny that all it took was some dude thinking he's driving on the right road to drive on the wrong road and then to get in the motorcade Yes. versus okay. like <laughs> the bombers and everything else yeah, that- versus like planning a setup. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> That's like the start of what's that dumb. What's, what's even- that dumb movie? Is it white house down? Not dumb. They're great, but they're cheesy. Is it white house down or is it the other one? Olympus where is fallen. Olympus is fallen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, dude. Gerard Butler, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on the podcast. We're just going to shout out everybody. Who, who is like the action hero right now? Ooh, Ooh Liam Neeson was. Yeah, Liam Neeson was. He's even, old now. Yeah, but even when he was like in his prime, he was old. Like Taken, he's still old as shit in that. It's, he was. It's weird. Oh, uh, what's his name? The dude that stars like in the like Rock Ke- right now is Keanu Reeves. Reeves. Well, Keanu's also Keanu getting old. Be. But he's old. Yeah, he's like 50 now. And all, I hate you. I. I've been hearing multiple people say that they like John Wick 4, and I don't understand it. I, I mean, hated that movie so much. Uh, Jason Statham is uh, Jason still Statham, mm, he's yeah. like in his 40s now. But, but all these guys are old. We got no one new. Uh, yeah. We got The Rock. That's, 
But that's what he's I was worried so like, about. the new people. He's like 40. Well, we had Jonathan Majors, but then he got found guilty of reckless assault and harassment. Did you see that? <laughs> I did. <laughs> that was a, so he, a great segue. He's on the naughty list. Why do you hate John Wick 4? Start with that. No? Because it's three hours long it of is. an action movie. It Cut is. it down to an hour and 45. The last scene when it's a half an hour of him we falling down the stairs <laughs> is so <laughs> insane. It's the worst it has to be some of the most boring, worst movie scene I've ever seen in my life. So <laughs> tell me this though: if you I hate it so that much, scene, I hate that movie so much. I if can't. You, if you remove that scene, does it make the movie that much better in your eyes? No, because I was falling asleep an hour and a half in. <laughs> no, the first one was great. They should have just kept it like that. They they always go too far. You got in with they the get bang. Like, I haven't seen any of them yet. The first one's incredible. Essentially, they kill his dog, and then he I goes know, on already, revenge. It's already, great. Yeah, you spoiled it for me. So oh. Thank you. <laughs> to be fair, that happens in the first, like, five minutes. I know. That does. Yeah. It literally is the I know, but Deets was like, oh, like, she just has to see, like, why he does it. And then I'm pretty sure you literally walked in and were like, yeah, they killed his dog. Like, <laughs> it's not the first time Eric spoiled a video yeah, or something. There's for more to it than just his dog, also. Yeah, there's more to it. Like his wife I mean, not a whole lot. It's actually a really... More. Sad scene. They're His coming. Wife, they're yeah. coming on Netflix. Well, don't fucking on the say first. it now. <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> they're coming on Netflix on January first, so I'm gonna watch them. I already added them to my list. Yeah, did you ever finish Succession? Mm-mm. I'm watching no. Southern Charm right now. Southern Charm. You wouldn't like it. No, she Eric, watches some don't weird ask. Bravo show. Oh yeah, he watches no. drugs. Oh my god, you know what? You know what else? I'm I recently dived back into Thousand Pound Sisters. What? Not familiar. Have they, you ever seen them? Are they no. both thousand? Is it because I use that gif? Look them up, Eric. They are so funny. They are literally hilarious. I cackle every episode. Thousand pound. I pay my bills. My bills yeah, are Yeah, Amy and Tammy. What's the well, premise of the show? One looks like a thousand pounds. They're well. <laughs> Tammy is like over seven hundred, and Amy was like, like four. Okay. Um, and they both wanted to get um. Like weight loss surgery. Yeah, like weight loss surgery. Are they, they gonna have to an get... episode where they just die from like cardiac arrest? Uh, is that Tammy, gonna be like Tammy, that last episode? Tammy only almost has like four different times. She actually <laughs> just went to like weight loss rehab. Amy lost a lot of a lot of weight though, didn't she? Yeah, she just had her second kid. Uh, hold on, hold on. Why are all the episode titles food puns? <laughs> Fork you, I'm do you done. <laughs> Bringing home the, the bacon. bacon. Well, they're all food no, puns. No, they're well, <laughs> well TLC, done. TLC has overworld. no chill. No. I love I Amy, see the TikToks of like Amy proof is, like, is in the pudding. Amy is like the smaller one, and like one of her <laughs> eyes is like looking this way. Bro, these episodes. And so like she great. can't see out of it, and then her right. eye that's facing forward is like half blind, so she like can't see anything. But she got weight loss surgery, and Tammy just got approved because she lost a bunch of weight, and now she was like 550, so she got weight loss surgery. So I was now about she's to say, like you, something. I thought the biggest thing was you can't be like 800 pounds to get weight loss surgery. Yeah, you have to, they had to like lose a lot you of weight. You have to be 500. Yeah. Well, you have to you have to <laughs> yeah. prove that you can lose the weight yeah. to do it. Cause, uh, yeah, Amy. Had, otherwise, you'll Tammy, just fucking. Yeah, Tammy had to go through like um like a cardiologist um like a she had like a pulmonary embolism at one point. Why doesn't she just take Ozempic? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she had to go to therapy, and her <laughs> therapist her therapist had to like approve her for surgery. To be honest, she probably has diabetes, so she's probably already on it. She had a trach. Jeez, how really old is time. she? I think they're only in their like thirties. Jeez. Mm-hmm. And then their their one brother had Shout weight loss out. surgery, and <laughs> he has so much extra skin now. So now his next surgery, he's wanting to get the extra skin off. Because huh. his waist is like small, but he just has so much extra skin. Yeah. That he's like, I can just like whack somebody with this. Ew. Yeah, it's kind of gross, but they're funny oh. as fuck. <sighs> so yeah, I'm I'm catching up to them. New episode tonight. <laughs> DLC. <laughs> I might have to pass Tammy on always that had one. a man around, though. I'll give her that. Yeah. Oh my God. She just got married in an episode surprised. I watched last night, and a, and that husband died. Really? She, met him, she met him in the rehab center. They got married after two weeks. There are dudes that like bigger chicks. But she said she was like, "I've never dated a big man." That's and, because there's and she's now dating a guy with trach with a trach as well, in fat loss or weight loss re- rehab. Hmm. But it turns so out that he real, that is what you're saying. This no, sounds because awful. He, this, one's this show sounds he awful. Actually, yeah, he I actually, like, like sad watching he this. actually, like, totally stalked her, apparently. TLC is absolutely <laughs> savage with the way they, they edit are. it together. Oh, like 90 I Day Fiance? I saw one of their TikToks, and they were like, I'm just going to make put together a healthy meal. And it was one of those fucking, like, aluminum foil pans. Right. And oh, she like just a whole lasagna or something? Yeah. 
Dude, TLC shows are hilarious. High and though. went to the. Who was the lady who used to do like waffles in her bed? Like my strange addiction. Wait, wait, cook waffles? No. <laughs> Couldn't just I do, do, I do, do waffles in, in her bed. Wait, she cooked waffles in shows. her bed. This is amazing. My yeah. six hundred pound life. Wait, how Maybe. do you? How do you? Cook? There's know. also another one called My Big Fat Fabulous Life. She's she's fun. <laughs> I do like her. She's fun. She goes to like Zumba and like BFFL. <laughs> Jeez. Eric, did you not hear about the person who like used to eat their mattress? Uh, that was a thing for a mm-hmm. while. Dude, yeah. yeah. What was my strange, my strange addiction? addiction. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my strange addiction. Yeah. I love God. that show. That Dude, they, show. they came out with a new one on HBO Max, and it literally is like all the people Ooh. from the earlier seasons. It's pretty good. Like seeing where, the, where, where they are now, and all of them are like still doing it. Like the girl that eats her cat's hair. Oh, oh my God. Well, they weren't actually like. Wait, so she, does she like. Interested in stopping it. So does she like. Uh, Spit up, uh, air balls. Air balls? Uh, not really, but she like licks them, like how cats clean themselves. She literally does that, and she's like, they like it. <laughs> they like and then she'll like take tufts off and just like eat it. Yeah. What about the guy who would make love to his car? He has like oh, five. Yeah. He, he, ha- he was on it. He has like five now. Five cars. <laughs> yeah, the one that he was Ooh. with forever. He likes like, to make love to his he car, to, like, and he's a polygamist or giveaway. Who yeah. bought the car that he sold? That's the question. I I don't That's know. Hilarious. But he has like a Cadillac. And he has oh, like a bunch of like different cars. Wait, how does he have? He has a boat for taking too. her out on the a night. Boat, a boat is also a part of the relationship now. How do? Oh, he's going. Uh, he needs. He's to going, find dude. This. He's I going. Mar- he's going merry time. Yeah. He's getting some merry time <laughs> law, bro. There was a girl. There was a. I think it was a girl and a guy, like a married couple who were addicted to coffee enemas. Ew. Did you guys ever see those? Addicted no, to coffee but... enemas. Yeah. How is like there? That's how they got their caffeine, or that's like good for you down there. Both. Mm. Uh, okay. Somebody would eat rocks. Like she would go off the side of the highway and like pick up little rocks and eat them. Birds yep. do that. Oh, one girl. So. Was, one girl was on the um, <laughs> a pebble addiction. On the like where they are now one, and she's addicted to like laundry detergent. She would put it like in her cabinet. She would like make a little mixture of like the powdered laundry detergent, and like um, she would wrap it in um, like dryer sheets, and she was like, it just makes it taste better. How are these the dryer not sheets? Dead? Yeah, Swear to God, I don't yeah. Get that Wait, so she would eat dryer sheets. Yes, and like laundry detergent. She's alive. Oh no, sorry, it was toilet paper. Oh, she would put a... she would put that in the powdered laundry detergent with dryer sheets, and she would eat the toilet paper. Because that's oh, so now it makes sense. And they 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 <laughs> that, these people, yeah that adds up. These people go up. to the doctor because they have all these problems, and they're like, yeah, if you keep doing this, you will die. And they're just like, I can't give it up. Like I've been doing <laughs> it for so long, I just like up. can't. Do you understand how good this double ply tastes? Well, oh this one, God. the girl with the toilet paper <laughs> went to lunch with like one of her friends, and she like took out her purse and she was just like snacking on it, and her friend was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" I bet she'd have really good recommendations on toilet paper, though. No, no. She, she <laughs> said like, she was Listen, like, "You need the angel." She thought. was like, "I like <laughs> this this kind, this ply." And she was like dating this guy. Amazon and, and Basics the does, guy, definitely doesn't the go. The guy <laughs> dumped her and was like, "I can't deal with this." And she was like, "Well, then I can't be with you, because like I can't, <laughs> I can't give up the toilet paper." How how do you even start date? It's not like she started when they were when like, she was a little girl. She said, "Yeah, so he knew about it." How do you even? Oh, well, I know, but if, no, she I was mean, she was like hiding it from him. So like she wouldn't eat in front of him. Back at our old loft, I used to think you were eating our toilet paper because it just kept disappearing. <laughs> I didn't know it was happening. And I had to confront you about it. Oh yeah. The worst episode. To you got to clean up. You got to keep it clean down there, dude. That I'm completely scarred from. It was like I probably like the series finale was um, this lady would drink her own piss. Mm-mm. Oh. Is it because it's sterile and she likes the taste? Oh yeah, hoarders Dodge is so ball. bad. Hoarders, Dodge hoarders ball. is really bad too. But I feel bad for some of the people. Dude, the hoarders was crazy. Yeah. The hoarders one was They, like, insane. can't walk around. There's literally just, like, shit. Yeah, Just everywhere. everywhere. I'm like, how, how are these people... How are these people even alive? That's what I want. Like, how is your body not just melted and broken down from all of the... Just melted. Stuff I only watched of one episode, and she was shitting into a bucket and then, like, throwing it out into the yard, but she didn't tell anybody <laughs> until they were cleaning the yard. Oh, my oh. God. And they, like caught her doing it and they were was like, it like out her window We've been no she'd like walk out onto her back porch and just fucking toss it because like the her toilet was broke shit. her oh. toilet was broke so oh she'd use God. the bucket or the people that and have like pets toss it out the and back they just, like, and they were cleaning the, yard the pets up. just like shit and piss everywhere in the house and they just like don't clean it up i'm like yeah 
God, that's so repulsive. I hate everything about this discussion right now. <laughs> <laughs> TLC, the Living Channel, or is it the Learning? I think it's learning. Talk about talking about TLC. What about the wife whole? swap? Do you remember yes. old school wife swap? That uh, was so good. Love oh. wife swap with the little boy who was like, "I'm running away." Don't you? Because the mom dude, would let him have chicken nuggets. Were... Don't you remember the Chappelle show skit where they make fun of the wife swap? Mm -mm. They have a, a black and white family swap husbands, <laughs> and it's like a strong black woman, and then like a soft white woman, and the black guy is strong. Like with mm -hmm. with the white woman and like disciplining the kids, and the white guy is just a pushover, being ran by like the black hey, dude. Yeah. It's it's literally hilarious. It's That's literally the, how the show was. The skit too. is so funny. <laughs> there was one. Oh it was like God. the UK. I'm just picturing it right now. The it's UK so version I saw on TikTok, and like this guy was like basically abusing, like his current wife. But it, they did wife swap, and he was like screaming at the wife that they swapped with, and they like literally were like, "Yeah, we can't show this." Trading spouses is what it was called. Mm. <laughs> We're not gonna watch a video yeah. on on the podcast. Chill. No, uh, oh, uh, I'm not gonna watch it. We're gonna get copyright. <laughs> I also really like toddlers and tiaras. I was a big fan of that show. Oh. But they don't have it anymore. Yeah, but that's like straight up, uh, like kid. That one child freaks abuse. me out. Yeah, child abuse. Yeah, luckily I never got into but that's toddler shows. That's where Honey Boo Boo got her got her name. Ugh. Yeah, none of that. What's up? What's up with Honey Boo Boo now? <laughs> uh, their one sister just died actually of cancer. Uh, oh, shut oh. up. Mama June is crazy. She was like in jail, I think, for like drugs. That makes sense. Yeah, wasn't mm -hmm. she selling drugs? Mm -hmm. Wait, what? She was the Honey Boo Boo's mom, Mama June. What? She didn't have enough money from the show. She, her head just got too big. I don't think they got got paid that well. Yeah, I don't think you're going on they TLC did, to. They did have their own show. A millionaire. They had it their wasn't their own on show. TLC. Yeah, they, they had their own show. Yeah, I know, but like it was pretty good. Oh, let's see here, Honey Boo Boo. Fifty thousand per episode. Yeah, Honey Boo Boo and the her Thompsons received two point seven five million. million. Yeah, they made uh, some money. It's not a lot, but. Yeah, June just like damn. They got a, a bad contract. Mom. The amount of money TLC made off Honey Boo Boo, everyone knows Honey Boo Boo. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's like a hot Cheeto girl now. I see her on TikTok. Is it bad to say I feel like TLC takes advantage of people that maybe aren't the no that's... brightest people on this? Oh, no, that's their entire they, yeah, business. That, yeah. Plan. Okay, they, okay. They've been that's doing literally it, man. exactly what they do. I say other shit on this podcast. I don't know why I was scared to say that. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> Are you really right? <laughs> <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> don't, the original pitch for it was. Mentally ill people equals money. Yes, mm -hmm. that's all it was. Yeah. Yes, that's pretty much TLC uh, to uh, yeah to a TLC. Yeah, the uh, Stern show does that. <laughs> that was, was uh, that was horrible. <laughs> what was the show Extreme Home Makeover on? Was that on ABC or TLC? Yes, ABC. ABC. Okay, well they were they were like the same thing. They would like take advantage of like people with like dying kids or something and build them a whole new house, but then the people had to pay like the taxes and like for the house oh. afterwards. Even though they the show made it seem like they were just giving them this house, and that's where they'd reveal the house behind the trailer and whatnot. Yeah, yeah. And everyone freak out. Yeah. Well, that's a Wasn't bummer. So you're saying most of those people uh, couldn't afford the house. Yeah. So what? they d they didn't actually get to like stay there. They had to like sell the house because they couldn't afford it. So what you're saying is they came in and like just started stealing houses from people and made a show about it. They didn't steal houses. So it's like Mr. <laughs> Beast getting in trouble for like giving people a, a yacht or something, but they still have to pay taxes on it next yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah, and think... most people can't do that shit, so they lose it. No. Well, right. Mr. They Beast was talks a controversy at one point. Mr. Mm -hmm. Beast talks about it. He says they give. He usually gives the option of like money. Yes, yeah. so. it's either take this or take the money. Yeah, like but most people are stupid. Yeah, I was gonna say people. Yacht, no? People aren't thinking yeah. about that. <laughs> I would take the yeah. money, so then you can buy the yacht eventually. Oh, it's 100% right. not Mr. Beast's fault. It's just idiots doing it. Right. But the idiots then go on to bitch about getting hit but with it's the it's his 80, fault, yeah. yeah. But imagine if you're having trouble, your house is in, you know, bad condition. You get a show to come fix up your house, and then they're like, oh, yeah. We're going to go ahead and take this back from you because it seems like you can't afford it. Mm. Yeah, I would. Katie, did you ever <laughs> watch the TV show with Joey King? And she, like. Gypsy Rose? I think so. Gypsy Rose, she's she's getting out of prison like next week. Yeah. Okay. Who the hell is Gypsy Rose? Oh my god! Extreme makeover. Gypsy Rose. 
<gasps> yeah, like I think was. that was part of it. That's how they got their home in Springfield or whatever. That wasn't a big house. Want me to give you a nod at twelve? Yeah, but it was like a. It was like a little trailer yeah, home. I'll probably try to get out here at twenty-five. After. I don't think it was a no. trailer home. The one in Springfield, yes. But it is. I thought she like threw GoFundMe or something. I don't know what it was. No, she was make a wish. It wasn't GoFundMe. Yeah. So was Gypsy make Rose uh-huh. giving her a home. Is that is she's the one we I talked about? Disney Gypsy Rose, right? She killed her mom. Movie. Yeah. So she's getting out of jail. Yeah. Dude. Let's get her. I think on, on like the, her on the I think on the twenty eighth, everyone on TikTok is making like lists of what they want her to do. They want her to be like on uh, like Trisha Paytas podcast. Gypsy on Rose, with the stars. we know you're listening. Um, Gypsy Rose, I'm a huge fan. We're big huge fans. Fan. Big fans. What is her story? Probably the only oh, fan I am. You don't know her story? Of. No, I have okay. no who this person is. I'll give you like the quick one. Dude, it's evil as fuck. It's literally of the evil. mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Gypsy Rose Blanchard is her name. Um, she like. For her whole life was like in a wheelchair, like had a bunch of diseases. Apparently, okay. her mom has um, Munchausen syndrome. Do you know what that is? No, I do not. Where you um, make up these diseases. Okay. And she made Gypsy think that she like couldn't walk, had all these things, couldn't eat sugar. Yeah, it's do Munchausen this. by proxy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, and one day, and she would just like abuse her, basically. Right. And one day, Gypsy like got up in the middle of the night, got out of her wheelchair, and realized she could walk. And yeah, eat, she was like, on medicines that would like paralyze her. Yeah. So that she mm. couldn't walk. And every time they would go to the doctor, and the doctor would be like, "Oh, like nothing's wrong." Like during your test, the mom would be like, "All right, we're going to a different doctor." Because she didn't, they didn't want her to, like catch on to it. So oh Gypsy started dating this guy. Um, like found him online or whatever, started dating, and they came up the, with the plan to kill her mom. And so they did. She sat in the bathroom, but she like planned it all. And the boyfriend like stabbed the mom to death. Is he so still now, in jail? Yeah, I think he has life. So he's not coming out. I don't think so. No. How do you not? But she's been in for a while, and they it's um it happened in Springfield, Missouri. Mm. My friends that went to Mo State, like that? my <laughs> friends that went to Mo State have like literally driven past the house. It's insane. There's I'm like a whole. I'm not saying you should stuff. kill your mom for that, but also, I mean, it's an abuse I would, situation. Yeah. You feel like you're trapped. Yeah. That's like more than abuse the mom your away. whole life mom, as a child. Yeah. You think you're sick and don't do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she ruined like your whole, whenever she found out. Yeah, yeah, you ruin the first twenty years of your life, mm-hmm. and probably take all this shit she, that's gonna kill you way sooner than you yep. probably would have. Like, yeah, she whenever like she woke up in the middle of the night and like walked. She walked to the kitchen and like ate. Like she put like Hershey's like chocolate syrup in her mouth, and she thought she was gonna die, and she was like perfectly fine. And she was like, it was a great she, TV show. It was, it was really good, actually. Man, Gyp- uh, Gypsy Rose's mom should have been hired by the CIA or someone. <laughs> she was good at if, brain warping. If the mom, or, uh, if they didn't uh, <laughs> brain washing, thank if you. The, if thank the mom you. didn't get killed, and because Gypsy was telling the neighbor, and the neighbor was like, "Uh, yeah, like something seems weird," um, the mom totally would have gone <laughs> to prison. Like that's, well, yeah, right. Blatant so. child abuse. Yeah. Well. But, yeah, you know, she's I getting guess. out of prison, and everyone's like, she shouldn't have gone to prison regardless. Yeah, you shouldn't I murder mean, people, but yeah. You, that's she didn't, situation. though. What, she, she thought of it. Plan, yeah, it was plan it premeditated. Yeah, but. That's not good, but... Uh, yeah. I mean, she I mean, should have just left. But she should have... When you're in an abuse situation she d- like I that, feel like you she, just kind of... So let's like say she, she calls the cops. The mom found well, her. let's say she calls the cops. What's going to happen? Call, call I think that summer. happened, and, the, an and the mom was so <laughs> like manipulative that she was like, "No, like she has like mental problems, like something's wrong with her. Like you can't believe anything she says." See, that's the issue with anyone that has like an actual mental thing. They have you know doctors approve, like yeah, this person's unstable. The mother yeah. can say whatever she wants, and there's no recourse. Mm. Like it was going on for so long that they were like, she was like, "You can't believe anything she says." Like I promise, because I think they went like somewhere in public, and Gypsy literally was like, "Please help me!" Like she's like constricting me like she's abusing me and and they're like okay and she's like oh don't yeah, listen to wasn't her that don't listen to Disneyland? her i think so yeah for make a child abuse she, like, went up to crazy, another dude. family yeah just the act of child abuse and the mom was like oh crazy. ignore her like she's she's crazy well do you remember the story the uh what was that last month or two months ago that kid escaped um the two uh oh like my women God, the two yeah. women the two yes. women that were caring Fuck for them. a bunch of kids they had him like tied up they had him like tied up and shit Wait. and he escaped and went to the neighbor's house and the neighbor called the cops immediately 
Because he's like he had bruises and stuff all over him. No, one of them was like a child care professional. Or yeah, some she was. Shit. A, yeah, she was. A, I think a teacher or something. I didn't know about Bitch, this at all. Damn yeah. it! Yeah, evil people. Evil people. Yeah. I watched a documentary about that, where these people had like a bunch of kids, and they were like shackling them to their be- like bunk beds and stuff, and like abusing them. And they went in like kids were like in closets, like tied up and everything. I think. And s- one of the girls like escaped. And went to like the neighbor's house and like called the cops, but they they didn't learn anything because they never left the house. So she didn't know her name, she didn't know her age, she didn't know her address. Oh my god! Like anything, and the cops, oh she, she like didn't know how to speak properly, and so the, she like found the cops and they got they got. This out. is very holiday of it us is. to be talking about. Yeah, this I right can't now. share examples. That happens a lot more often than you guys would think. Yeah. yeah what do you mean like you can't lot. share examples? What do you got? Like I I know of examples and oh, okay. there's like a YouTuber that just county. got um, yeah. like sentenced yesterday. The big YouTuber because she abused her kids. Well, I think if you, I think we should handle pretty much uh, CP, child abuse, child other things, all pretty much the same. Feather and tar. Electric chair? <laughs> no, feather, feather and tar. Feather and tar. <laughs> what was the name? Um, we need to ta- we need to bring back public like humiliation. Yeah, agreed. Public executions. It was a mother I and mean, father of like five children or yeah, six. Yeah, like children. sorry, Chris, I can't come to work tomorrow. People I'm used to, the, to go going to, to the guillotine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, you have the you, city, city, yeah, town square. We give we give all of our employees uh, uh, five days off just for public, yeah. Execution. Public, public, ex- public execution Damn. days. Five public days ex- off, execution mean. days. Like a lot I got Katie's over there. It's like, kill him, kill him off. <laughs> they should We're be able to get over it. it on Facebook. Yeah, put it on TikTok Live. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is it is kind of savage, but also. So the last public execution was in 1936 in Owensboro, Kentucky. Mm-hmm. In America. Mm-hmm. Almost I mean, they still do them other places. God, damn, and he was ha- he was hanged in a parking lot for I, I I don't even know if I can say this word on YouTube robbery murder and the uh, R A P E you uh, fucking s- sound it out. Well, you're supposed to say no. You're supposed to say S A. Is what you're supposed to say. S A. Yes. Sexual assault. Well, if you say it. Well, yeah. Obviously, I gotta fucking. Tell him what it is. It, it, it's so it, you try and I don't. You just try and say this stuff without getting YouTube upset, you know, or Spotify or any of those other. Ah, uh, they'll get over yeah, it. Man. Holiday episode's gonna get flagged. So let's be more happy. What y'all got planned for the Hallmark? Holidays. I want to. I want to talk about Hallmark. Hallmark. Okay. Hallmark movie channel. You mean the greedy fuck? Oh, okay. The movie channel, not the cards. Hallmark movie channel. Apparently, they actually pay pretty well. I can believe that. Yeah. Do you guys watch Hallmark no. Movie Channel? Really? Candace Cameron Beer was like the go-to female lead on. Don't even know who that is. DJ from Full House. Oh. What's her name? Candace. Candace, Candace Cameron Beer. Candred Beer. Cameron. Candace. Uh, Spell it correctly now. Cameron. No, I don't. I don't oh know. yeah. They're too cheesy for me. Okay. Oh, I love them. You would. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here's how Candace Cameron, so Beer's mom. trainer, curates the star's workouts. What was that Curate. sentence you just Probably said? Probably very special. That's h- Here's how Candace Cameron, Beer's trainer, curates the star's workouts. Like, Say that five that's times fast. That's, that's woman's health. Uh, <laughs> can you guys figure out a better way to title your shit? It's horrible. <laughs> It's because it's Candace Cameron, and then they use curates. It's like, calm down with the C's, my guy. <laughs> That's a chat GPT headline for sure. Oh, for sure. Oh, they were going through. Um, they were going through like all of the. So I watched the Daniel Tosh episode. They just had he had like a Hallmark movie guy on there that's done like fifty of them. And they were going through the names, and the names of Hallmark movies are hilarious. Yeah, that's why they don't. They don't intrigue me. Yeah, it's all Christmas at Holly Lodge, the Christmas Club, love you like Christmas, reunited at Christmas. <laughs> Have you seen the Lindsay Lohan one on Netflix? Wait, no, what? that what came out that? like last year, didn't it? Yeah, she, she still like, gets knocked out. Yeah. She's still hot. Um, <laughs> she's had a lot of <laughs> Thank surgery. You, Eric. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's she's thirty seven. How does she look now? I haven't like seen. She's forty-seven mm-hmm. oh, with yeah. surgery, so not good. Yeah, not great. 
Well, it was all those drugs, I would assume. That'll do yeah, it to she you. She went through it for a little bit, yeah. Oh my god, it doesn't look it doesn't look bad. Mm. These are edited Instagram photos versus <laughs> yeah, Facetime. Like whenever you get straight on, I hate to talk shit on Lindsay Lohan. She murdered movies back in the day. Yeah, no, Herbie, fully fully Herbie fully loaded. Herbie yeah. fully loaded was so good. Herbie fully loaded, yeah. Herbie fully loaded. Freaky was good. Friday. Parent Freaky. Trap. Freaky. Yeah. Parent Trap. Oh, love the that best movie. movie though. Oh, is I thought. I thought that they were. I thought she was a twin Me for too. the longest time. <laughs> mm-hmm. mean, mean Girls is by far the best. Yeah. No, you like Mean Girls? Hell yeah. Shocking. Are you gonna see the new one? Is it, they're making a new one. Jesus Christ! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they had a Mean Girls two already. Yeah, they, uh, it's like a remake. But the Mean mm. Girls two isn't them again, right? Mm, it's not, I don't think so. No. Yeah, it's completely different actresses. This one has uh, Jenna Fisher in it. I don't know any of these people. So is it Mean it Girls looks like three the, or Mean Girls no, one it's, two? No, it's just Mean Girls. Okay. It's like Why a do remake. They do that? I don't know, but it's gonna be like the musical kind of. Because they're running does, out of ideas, that's does why. Anybody understand SEO that names movies? Or like I am so I'm excited. I don't think that's a concern for movies. <laughs> no. Like Fast and wait. Furious. Yes. I've so. never seen any of them. Don't has care. two movies named Fast and Furious. Yes. Yeah. So. No, it's the Fast and the Furious and then Fast and Furious. Yeah, they they the the Essentially Fast and Furious is the sixth <laughs> one. Yeah. Whenever I was a kid, I tried to like I ordered it. The fast, off the fucking DVR on. or whatever. The fast and the, the furious. furious. <laughs> hold that's on, the the stupidest so shit that's I've the ever fourth heard. one, by the way. The Tokyo, fast and the furious is no, the yes. fourth. Tokyo Drift is the fourth one, isn't it? Third. No, third. Tokyo ah. Drift is the third. Third. Sorry. Y'all. Too fast, too fast. furious. Luda. <laughs> Ludacris. <laughs> too fast, too furious was one of my favorites. Dude, it's cheesy. It's definitely, it's definitely cheesy. It's the more cheesy one for the sure. The first and the second, well, the first three, those are the good ones, and then everything else is just like, eh, okay. Hey, now uh, don't you mock there's family? There's way too many of them. Wait, don't mock family. Um, the tenth one, whenever he's like, the, tenth one. the one after the Fast and the Furious isn't bad. Uh, is that five? Is that Fast Five? Yeah, Fast Five was pretty solid. That's the one where they break out the vault from the. Yeah, that and they're driving good. the safe around. That was pretty sick. They only did that. Yeah, one the of them? reveal at the end. They were driving. The, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, they were driving the safe around in like L.A. Remember, they were like yeah. pulling it with uh, chargers no, or whatever. In, it was in like Brazil. Was it? I think they did that in Dubai as well. Yeah, it was for sure Brazil. Oh yeah, those are definitely not. Those are definitely not uh, American cars. That's that's for sure. Because they had to leave L.A. They had too much too much heat. Which one has like Jason Statham and The Rock beating the shit out of each other? That's Jumanji? Like 10 or something, right? Jumanji. I think Se- that's seven. 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 How about yeah. that movie? <laughs> yeah, f- after Fast Five, I feel like it kind of goes downhill. Whenever they have the scene where they're like jumping across the highway and then they catch each other and then land on a car hood, I was like, oh, pff, Jesus. Yeah, when they start becoming superheroes, <laughs> that's when yeah, they like the one where they drive the car out of the building and then drive it down the building. Yes. That was the when they're ramping it between skyscrapers. Well, yeah, you, yeah, that was. Maybe I mean, they don't go down the building. Maybe you, they just hit another. Skyscraper. You know why they they made that change though? They're always going to make more money. I mean, what's going to make more money, an action movie or a car movie? An action movie. Stupid. Yeah. They also got tired of writing for it. I think <laughs> based on. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> like, let's just reuse this. I don't know why they haven't made a remake or like just reboot the original and just bring back straight up. Well, Paul Walker's like, gone, illegal man. street racing. Because what's Paul more Walker. exciting? Okay, this time you're gonna lose the drag race, or this time your whole entire team's gonna get captured by the banks and you're gonna steal money from them or something. I don't know the premises of the movie all the way, but. You also yeah. just bitched about people remaking movies. You did. Yeah. It and doesn't have to be a remake. Re- but you then, just said that. D- uh, bring back Fast and Furious OG. Their mission okay. is the first before they three that, weren't even really like action movies. No, they were they no. were like they were mysteries ca- almost. Or like they were car movies. It was like movies. a crime, right, crime movie. Yes. Before yes, they go back, can yes. they hit space <laughs> first? Have they been in space yet? <laughs> they yeah, have been in space. They have. <laughs> He Jesus, went. He I'm went behind. to. He went to the <laughs> damn space shuttle or the. He went to the internet. He the hit space a satellite. Stage. Was he? Oh yeah. He he went to he went to a satellite or something. Did he just hit a ramp or? Bro, he. Yeah, how did he get <laughs> no, there? they put jets on the back. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Is that what happened? Yeah. Did, was it Vin Diesel uh, that went out? And he did that all for free. No, it was Luda. Huh? Oh That's yeah, crazy. Ludacris went out. Luda and the guy from Fast and Furious Three. It's uh Fast Nine. Oh, they're in a they're in like a space shuttle. 
Why are they wearing what looks like it's, it's spacesuits? Oh, are, it was Tyrese. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go find that. Those are not spacesuits. Those are space water suits. suits. Scuba they diving. Like those are scuba diving suits. These are old from like the 50s. Yeah. These are scuba <laughs> diving suits. These are not spacesuits. All right. Well, I think I have to get going. Yeah, they get let out of a plane and they just like take off on they a don't jet. Care. All, right, all right. Westcountyinsulation.com. Hot, cold. Someone in your family's bitching about why is the heating bill so much right now? Yeah. We can take care of it. If if you've he had can take issues care with it. broken pipes, let's take care of that before they break. Okay? Yeah. That's right. Uh, we'd hate to come around oh, and try to fix now? that after the pipe breaks. No, but during the winter, during freezes, we get a lot of calls for broken pipes. So if you've ever had that issue. And if you what? get water damage, we still have to come back in there and fix that issue. So, And you got to yeah. pay a restoration company and other people as well. So plumber. just call us anyway. So probably just call us first. If you set your house on yeah, fire, definitely call us first. To... Oh, after God, you call 911, <laughs> you call us. No, no, you call us first, <laughs> then you call 911. That's how it goes. <laughs> But yeah, we do free Don't quotes. Do if uh, if you need some insulation, uh, give us a call. We'll definitely come by. Cool. All right, thank you guys. Have a good day. It was nice having you on the podcast. Peace out, dude. No, no, thank mm-hmm. you. Merry Christmas. Yeah, leave the hat. You know he he's he's <laughs> he he's leaving right now because a man named Evan Arshambold, one of our other business partners, is apparently sick today. So Whoa, cl- now you can't so just call him I don't even out. think no. you said his name right. Evan Arshambold. Arch Arch Arshambold. Peace. I think he did say it right because he's known him for fucking since he was. Uh, is out sick today, so Clayton has to cover his job. Why are you taking off your headphones? Put the hat on, chill. Put the hat. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so we were talking about Fast and Furious being ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. No, but we should. I I want an original one to come back. I want a street racing one. To come back. I have no comments because I've never seen any of them. But do you want the original cast back? What? Though, or do you I want don't care people? about that. Okay. I yeah. Never I'm seen good with any people. of them. No. I don't. And you haven't seen John Wick. What do you do? No. I don't. You just go home and sit there and stare care. at the wall. She yeah. watches a thousand I thousand, 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 thousand pounds. Yeah, Southern Charm. <laughs> you don't yeah. want real cinema in your life? Mm-mm. I'm not really a movie Whoa. person. Since I, I, I don't. Fast and the movies. Furious, real cinema. That was the joke. Like. Terrible. I'm more of a TV show. Okay. Like TV show better. And yet you haven't watched Succession. Not all of it. So Chris, 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 Suits. Mm -mm. Oh, Suits is so good. Yes, it is. Chris watched the. What about the End of the World movie that's on Netflix right now? No, I do want to watch that though. You haven't watched it yet. Mm -mm. That was great. Uh, But I've heard it was good. I heard the ending sucked though. The ending. Yeah, if you have no imagination. (laughs) All right. I do need to watch it. No, the ending makes total sense. So I actually I'm on uh, Reddit conspiracy because these people are crazy. Let's not spoil it. Let's let's talk like about we did Succession. Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg and John Wick. So Mark Zuckerberg, Post Malone, you have all of these people building hundred million dollar plus bunkers. Post Malone. Post Malone. What are you talking about? Post all Malone the- has a six by six Hennessy truck. Kind of a dope truck. <laughs> it's literally for like <laughs> Post Malone's is, is buddies it's like, like Elon and all them. Oh, I know that. So he has all of these people. Are he also drinks Bud Light. Yikes! All I these think we're back on Bud Light. I think we're cool with it. Kid Rock said it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I get all of my beer recommendations from Kid Rock. Wait, he said he said we're on good terms now. Yeah, he said that they got the note. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they understood. Oh, I don't think I the wonder rest if of they America were, agrees. I wonder if they were soon. Because it keeps getting seen drinking Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, oof. That's great. See, that's why I never liked Chris Rock. Or excuse me. I love <laughs> I love Chris Damn, Rock. Chris I Rock. love Chris Rock. Sorry. Call I love up. Chris Rock. Sorry. I hate Kid Rock. Literally, that just shows how much of a man he is, which he's not a man at all. You literally post a video of you being a fucking badass shooting Bud Light. And then, like, a couple weeks later, you're drinking Bud Light, and then you take back your stance. Actually. That's so weak. That's a weak man. I don't really know much about Kid Rock. Just his one song. Which one? Sweet Home Alabama. That's not even his song. <laughs> well, I know that. All summer, all summer long is the song. That, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, that's Leonard Skinner. No. Cowboys, um, go, we're listening to Kid Rock on our way back. Oh, the office. It's okay. No, it'll be fun. No, it's okay. It'll be fun.
We can listen to Nicki Minaj. Okay, that's that's fine. Oh, hey, do you know Nicki Minaj has a new album? Just found that out today. Nicki Minaj has a new album. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've never listened to Nicki Minaj. Well, that's a lie. Super out. bass. Unless she's like at, on another artist. Super bass, stupid hoe, Roman's Revenge. There's a couple I'm sure I have on Spotify, but like I don't ever listen to mm. her now. Oh, not only does he listen to her, now he's got him got her on yeah, Spotify. Now he's in the now she's in the library. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Yeah, what you got? Let's pull her up. Also, that's the weakest password I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Chris. <laughs> I don't I don't care. Like if you're I think it's whatever. I just made an easy one in case my face doesn't work, you know. <laughs> All right, Nicki Minaj. Let's see. Oh I am not following her and I don't have any songs liked. There you go. That's a good man, Eric. Stick with that. I agree. Hey, Barbie I'm movie. happy about she this. She was in the Barbie movie. Oh yeah, she was. I'm okay. happy That's about Barbie that. Movie. Song is good. I thought I was gonna have a couple. I'm looking. Boys, <laughs> let's go. Man card still there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, I saw I came across a coffee because mm-hmm. we talked about coffee last week. It's called Biohazard Coffee, nine hundred and twenty-eight milligrams Ooh. per twelve ounces. No, you would His die. note on that is just WTF. I yeah, my <laughs> note is what the fuck. What? How is that even legal? I don't know. Or created. I don't even know how you had a warning label big enough for people not to, like, die. I bet you their logo is literally, like, a little It is a biohazard caution. symbol, yeah. yes. Remember when we had a salesperson go to the hospital? Mm-hmm. I, won't say, I won't say names. You know, who you, are. you know who you are. He had yeah, when we got the espresso machine. He probably yeah. had about that much. And he was, like, heart palpitating. and Yeah, like dying. Like, like dying. Well, he thought. You've d- there's been people that overdose from caffeine. It was dramatic, so I mean. I was gonna say I don't. Did like, you say he... he's dramatic? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like, like, it, how it serious didn't... was it actually? Probably not Just that serious. Drink some water, dilute it. Drink. So, which nope. is what they did. They gave him an IV. Yep. Fine. Oh, I got an IV drip. If yesterday. You're not dead. I got an IV drip yesterday. For what? No. I need to. I need to do that. Shout out Invita Health and Wellness, mm-hmm. Sarah Franco. How was it? It was good. Oh, that's, that's why you were there. <clears throat> well, for other reasons as well, of course. You know. So wait, they we do good work for them. They characterize strong coffee as like anything above 500 milligrams. So what's like close to a thousand death? Of? Like insane. How does that work? Because I, I don't even like to drink two monsters in a day because that's like 400 milligrams. You shouldn't yeah, have no. more than like, I, I mean, cu- a cup or two of coffee a day. <laughs> Like, Whoa. that's like 180, like, you're over 200 milligrams, 300 milligrams. Like, that's a shitload of caffeine. Oh, uh, get this. Perfect. Like, that's a ton. Perfect use for surviving the week, parenting, cramming for exams, working out, or insane gaming focus is what they fucking promote this shit insane for. Insane gaming focus. I feel like I'd be like freaking out. So, <laughs> if I was playing a game, <laughs> I'd be like, oh. Did you see that? I'd be like, shit. <laughs> you probably think Sorry, the I'm bullets actually coming yeah. for you. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, God. You start parenting. Ho- uh, parenting? Yes, uh, parenting Bro, hyperactive if you, kids. If you're having to drink 928 milligrams of coffee, you should not be having a child. <laughs> I don't know. Those first few weeks are bad. <laughs> you don't yeah. have kids. Yeah, but I've got like eight <laughs> nephews and nieces. Oh, man. How do I've you seen know? The, I've seen the <laughs> side effects. All right, Eric. Well, you got to buy us some so we can taste it in the studio. Mm. It's fair. We all get like an ounce of it, though. We all get a sip of it. We all get two ounces. That's insane. That's like espresso. It's literally making a cup of coffee and then like splitting it between espresso. four people. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like that is. I guess at the end, if if you were looking for end of the world coffee, there you go. Maybe not bad because it does say fighting zombies on here. I was going to say like the it? Last of Us. Here we go. Here we go. So how long does it last? Does it have a shelf life on there? Because if it's not a couple years, the hoarders don't want it. Uh, let's find out real quick. <laughs> True. I feel like that's gotta, probably going to be a hard thing to find. You got to have, have the dry coffee. This caffeine may result in overproductivity, all nighters, and the <laughs> occasional feeling of invincibility. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to order it for the office again. Yeah. Oh my god! Just we already had we already had no Death song. Wish. This one's li- done that for this week. Mm-hmm. Literally, they went above Death Wish. Biohazard coffee. 
Biohazard Coffee, also, if you guys are looking to sponsor a podcast. <laughs> Hit us up. I will probably drink another coffee brand and fake that I'm drinking yours, but no one will know, and I won't say anything. I'll only say it this one time. Well, they will know whenever you're not fucking strung out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's just immune to it. Yeah. Yeah. I got Biohazard Coffee and then also Legal Cocaine as well that we're doing off the table. We'll just take it to the... <laughs> Take it to the next Legal level. Legal cocaine. All of a sudden, a all of a sudden, like like Is that Adderall. Like three months from now, I turn into Hunter Biden on this podcast, and I'm just like, <laughs> fucking up Shit's Creek. <laughs> I'm just bringing in women to the podcast, being like, "Here, you go, take a seat. Let's go." Hey, this podcast might actually get good. Yo! <laughs> I go to the ATM beforehand, take out a couple grand. I'm throwing some cash. This actually is there a podcast? That is an unhinged podcast by someone that just parties. Adam twenty two. Oh, she just said it. Yeah, damn it. No, not like that though. He doesn't really party. I'm. T- <laughs> yeah, we know that. <laughs> hey, oh, his wife does. Why is Did her name? Hear? Why is her name Lena the Plug? Lena. I don't respect her enough to call her by her real name. <laughs> Lena the Plug. Why is it called the, the Plug? plug. Oh yeah, I guess she's the plug. Well, I have a joke, but the peg? Like, what do you want? Well, I've, I'm thinking you put a butt in front of that, and that's why. I'm thinking she pegs her husband. Oh, away with it. Ooh. One of the plug. I don't actually know. Hmm. You don't know? I don't know why she's called that. What do you think about the forehands? Pretty good. I just don't get I, I like their seltzers. I think it's actually pretty damn good. They have the bomb pop one that I really like. Is that not sweet though? Mm-mm. The, theirs aren't like overly sweet, like seltzers. Bomb pop, I like the dry stuff. The dry. The problem is okay. with the with a lot of the. <laughs> the problem is with a lot of the seltzers. They have like I don't know. They like, like a make, lot of sugar. They just make you feel like shit after you drink a couple. These don't. And I used to get also with seltzers on my beer. I'd get um, acid reflux, and I don't know why. Seems like a you problem. <clears throat> I don't. I know. Maybe see a doctor. I know. No. We talked last week. It's because there's something in it that my body doesn't agree with, obviously, which makes sense. You had a nutritionist on. I mean, on. alcohol is literally yeah. I know. I need mm-hmm. to. You should have asked her. Well, we did. We talked about acid reflux. Um, she's like, you need to get a food allergy test. And I'm like, that's probably fair. Yeah. Did you then book one? No, no. I need to get a food allergy test. I want to do a food allergy test and the gut test. I want to do them both. Like the gut health Same. one? Yeah. Mm. I don't even, I don't, she didn't say it was too expensive. What do you mean, same? You're, like, allergic to everything. I know, but I've just done that through, like, my own figuring it out, not yeah. that through a test. So. Are you okay? My left one went out. I actually, uh, now it's fixed. I actually read, you guys have a thing with eggs? Like, do you like eggs? They kind of gross me out after a little bit. Okay. So, I was actually reading something, or we were, I don't know, maybe I was having a discussion with someone about eggs. Mm-hmm. And they were, like, People go back and forth on liking and not liking eggs. And that's like the the most common thing I've heard. And I've it's been brought up so many times, but I don't ever think it's ever been a talking point that ever anyone's talked about. I like if I think about it too much. Have you ever I, gone through phases of liking and disliking eggs, essentially, is what I'm asking. No. Yes. What? Yeah. Yeah. No, I've done it too. Multiple times. If I think about it too hard, I get grossed out and I can't eat it. I, I'm with you. Eggs are a weird I'm thing. I'm like, uh, it's a fucking egg. Well, what so you... which part grosses you out know. more? Whenever there's a rooster there or not? Because <laughs> there's two different types of eggs. Wait. What? what? I'm just talking about, like, eggs. Like Was that a know? joke? Did that go over all of our heads? So. <laughs> you got to explain yeah, well, now. Eggs are what are you talking about? Either babies or menstrual. Like, it's literally their menstrual cycle. Because um, they will have I... an egg. They will lay an egg even if there's not a rooster. So I what was actually, wrong I was actually just talking That's about the eggs f- from like a gro- grocery store. Like I don't want to think Where about do you this. think the egg comes from? It's from the I don't, chicken. I don't think about it. I just like buy it's them. It's from the hen. But so that what grosses me out about eggs. Okay, I don't think oh. that deeply. I'm talking about like just the egg itself. Yeah, but uh, you realize like the texture you, thing or like yeah, a, like, you realize yeah. that those th- those are not those aren't going to grow into like a chicken. Yeah. I know because there's not a rooster. Or I don't think so, at least. I don't know, actually. No, they won't. That's the fucking How point. are you guys eating the eggs, though? Do you fry them over easy? Like, Scramble. What are you... 
Okay. Scramble is by far the most disgusting way to eat eggs. Oh, like, you, you fuck off. That's nice. what? All, right. all I know is <laughs> eggs, if you don't have hot sauce, I'm not eating eggs. I don't like hot sauce. So. Like eggs, no, pe- the no, eggs are just eggs are just a way for you to eat hot sauce. That's ketchup. how I think about ketchup. eggs. What have you put fuck? ketchup on your eggs before? Yeah. Delish. What the fuck is wrong with you people? I don't oh, like. So I'm good. not a big ketchup fan, though. Do you? I pe- had a friend who put ketchup on pizza. Hold on. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. We'll come back to that. Um, pizza and ranch is different. No. Pizza and honey. I've been putting honey on the top of my pizza. It's so good. What the fuck, people? <laughs> what is wrong with all of you? No, no. Like it's a thing now, Matt. Like specifically hot honey. Mm. But I don't like hot stuff, so I just did regular honey at my house, and it's so good. Yeah, but how many drugs do you have to take to think it's good? All right, do you guys like pineapple on pizza? No. No. Yes. I don't mind it. So good. I hate it. It's like a sweet and savory. I it's don't. Like garbage. With a little bit of like I don't. Ham. I'll eat it, but I'm not like oh, me it. about it. I'm not like lovers. It. Gross. Meat lovers. That's what I want. Yeah. I don't. I don't really like pepperoni on Heat. my pizza. Heat. I like a sausage, but my go-to is ham and pineapple. If I can only get one topping, pepperoni. Pepperoni. Ugh, I'd Absol- rather just have See, cheese. I don't like pepperoni. I don't what? either. Too greasy. Too mm-hmm. what? Yep. This makes me feel gross. Yeah. Where are you getting pizza from? Anywhere. He's over Anywhere here on like the Domino's. Pepperoni. Do you guys like Domino's or Pizza Hut better? Oh my God! Come on. Really? Domino's. Yes. Okay. Well, having worked at Domino's, I pizza guarantee like the, you like, don't want Domino's. Pizza, pizza. pizza oh, Hut yeah. is like gr- very greasy to me. Domino's didn't used to be as good, but when I was in college, they came out with the uh, yeah they up they changed the recipe. The uh, they yeah got really they good. changed the recipe. They used for they, the crust. The crust, the garlic crust, mm, they got so good. I'm out to text my dad. Like they completely redid the whole thing. And Domino's, Fantastic. I haven't. I don't really eat pizza anymore. But I don't really either. But when I do, fucking slaps All the right, garlic hey, sauce in the little sh- cup. Shout out JJ Twigs. Never had it. Oh my God. Double decker pizza, JJ Twigs. Mm-mm. Doherty Ferry and Big I know where Ben. It is, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Have the... you been to Dewey's? Yeah. What do yeah. you think? I've never been there. It's good. That's the presidential pizza. What's that mean? The, uh, Obama went to Dewey's. <laughs> or maybe it was Pop. Who gives a shit? Literally me going. Okay. Yeah. Is Dewey's on is Dewey's on uh it's, on, it's in Kirkwood. Okay, it wasn't Dewey's anyway. Well, they have more, I think. pie. Pie is gross. On pie is not around. Yeah, it's closed now. Pie was in Kirkwood. They haven't been there in like four it's, years. We went there like one time for my cousin's birthday, and it was disgusting. Didn't they, don't what they, was they, the pizza place in Del Mar Loop? Uh, I think pie I think had. Was pie. I think pie had two locations. Yeah, and I'm that's where the president went. Was that's pie where Obama went. Like pie Manchester? Pizza Central West End? Maybe. I'm remembering one off, logo, of like, right? off of like Manchester. Yeah. Manchester. They had the yeah. one in Kirkwood. Yes. It was not good. They still, pie's still open. They also, I think, have a pie pizza slash taco place or something like that. What about, um? Mo- oh, I know you like mom pizza. No, I like mom. I don't. Yeah, pie pizza or pie pizzeria plus Rico Mexican Kirkwood. That doesn't mix. I don't. Those are two different restaurants. I don't. Yeah. No, no, no. They're in the two same. Two different. No, no, no. But they're like. Different. They're in the same location. Yeah, but it's like us in West County Insulation. <laughs> we're in the same location, but we're different. What about uh, Mellow Mushroom? Eh, it's a cool hang. Mm. I like Mellow Mushroom. It's a cool hang. I don't Very know. You pizza. like wait for Eric to say his opinion, and then you're like, I like it. Katie, I, I don't think care Ka- what his opinion is. Katie's pizza is good. I feel like they have weird stuff. I've never been. I agree, but they have good pizza. Mm. It's they just opened the one in Ballpark. Yeah. It was funny because 12 Bars was last weekend and we were walking past. Because it's just like on the corner and yep. like everybody is like drunk on the streets. And then there's just people like eating like a nice dinner at right, so for That any, is weird. For anyone that likes Domino's <laughs> still, nice, so. look at your phone <laughs> real quick. <laughs> Anybody that likes what? Pizza? Domino's? Domino's? Look at your phone real quick. What the hell is that? A oh, knife? That is a fucking nail that I pulled out of a Domino's pizza pie one time. So which location did you work at? Uh, three of them. Yo, I'm feeling left out. I didn't get it. What? It's a literal nail. So I worked at the one in DeSoto, the one in Festus, and the one in um. Peabody. How did nail get in the dough? Fuck, that's like right around my town. How did it get in the dough? <laughs> so literally, when they Damn. process it and pack it like at the place, a nail slid in there, got that's smashed just like... in there, and I stabbed my hand on it whenever I went to make that shit. Well, it's a good thing yeah, you didn't like, send uh... it out with a nail in there. I cut around it. Hmm. I still sent it out. It's like micro dosing tetanus. Did you see? Uh, did you see? 
Did you see Luke and STL Bucket List came out, or starting to come out with their uh, their award winners? Yes. I didn't so think we were allowed to say that name on this podcast. I, uh, well, I think you, you're too late now. You <laughs> say their <laughs> name on this podcast. <laughs> Shout out Bucket List, I guess. Yeah. No, I just the wanted to. other San Luis I honestly just wanted to get your guys' takes on some of uh, what they were posting. Are um, you angry they didn't name us the best podcast, Erica? Do they even have that? I don't think so. <laughs> that would be hilarious if they named us. They should do best bo- podcast studio. But they would put, n- well, Ooh. studio, yes, but not best podcast because they would just let themselves win. I don't know. Half Half Coast, you know, might have been the best a couple years ago. That's we're not kinda, fair. I've seen some new ones pop up lately. We're falling behind, ladies Ooh. and gentlemen. <laughs> we're falling behind the set, you know. One hour in. That's the time stamp for Alex to kill Eric. <laughs> All right, uh, so I did see bu- best brunch they gave to Russell's on Macklin. Okay. A hundred percent agree on that. I have no qualms. I don't know if I've been there for brunch. It's amazing. Well, I mean, to go there anytime is amazing. Usually, what I try and do is if I go, I'm going up to the second floor. I'm sitting at the bar. Hmm. But usually, that's what I do at every place I go to. I Sorry, try and go to the bar. When I when you said second level, have you been to Gallagher's in Waterloo? No. Have you heard of it? Yes. Dude, you have to go. You would eat that shit up. Why aren't we doing an award section? We literally have the domain, stlouisawards.com. News to me. What are uh, we doing with her? <coughs> <laughs> if someone wants a job, let us know. We got <laughs> stlouisawards.com. Okay, so Gallagher's. Yeah, Gallagher's. In Waterloo. This so is they in just, Waterloo. They just reopened. Okay. Um, It's like in a little Does old house. Does that still count as St. Louis? Mm. Illinois, I don't know. I, I was about to you. say, I'm not gonna, uh, uh, you know, I'm so, gonna, I'm gonna be that. Per- the audience, I'm gonna be that there. person, right? This, this looks like an old school bar that I would like. So they just rebranded like completely, and mm. it's all like dark and like black and gold now. Upstairs, they have the dining room. So I don't care about the menu. The menu is bizarre. Mm-hmm. Um, because they Ooh. just redid it. Sundays, every Sunday is fried chicken family day. It's like all you can eat bunch of fried chicken yeah any kind dark white breast thigh whatever mm-hmm. um corn casserole as a side mashed potatoes as a, as a side green beans as a side why are legs so good why are, chi- why are like literally why are chicken legs so they good, just though? bring like buck like platters of can we talk about chicken legs though for a second why are they so good i don't like chicken are legs. they the best i we, no. i know you talk shit no. on I, I like chicken breast the best like chicken breast fried is the best yeah. the chicken breast really yes mm-hmm. i'm a sucker for the i gra- every, anytime there's legs i'm like give me all of those right now yeah no well do you like thighs so you know or the actual Eric drums no i'm talking about the drums okay so okay yeah. i'm going drums okay mm. but still i like chicken breast better mm. Mm. i would say thighs are better than breast Ooh. That's a fight right Mm-mm. there, man. But you also like freaking steak on Thanksgiving, so I don't want to hear it. I can't wait. Till, again. I can't wait till I cook my steak later. I got it in my fridge. I like want Domino's right now. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Like desperately. So my dad literally texted me this morning and said, "Think about dinner options." And I'm about to text him and say, "Domino's." So Gallagher's oh. back mm-hmm. to Gallagher's. I saw a photo. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Their uh, their mug uh, brass has knuckles. brass knuckles on it. That's badass. Mm-hmm. See if they have a picture of the of the chicken. We went there for Father's Day because it was like when they had like just first open and it like literally is the best food ever. Do they have. Let's go to their Facebook page. While he's looking that up real quick, Katie, mm-hmm. what 24, dominoes are you going likes? to? Holy shit. Say that again. What dominoes are you going to? Uh, And Arnold. Man, I know the people that work there. I'd still say no. <laughs> So don't go to Domino's. Well, I'm going. See, it's just the same he was as a manager you at Domino's, with, um, Domino's, for anybody who doesn't know. Yeah, yeah I, for years. That looks years, amazing. It's just terrible. That looks like a fake photo. Yeah, that's not. That does what? not look like their real photo. No, I'm, I mean, it was a photo of one. On white? So is that their logo? They put it oh. in the yeah, burger? It's, that's cool. It's new. Interesting. How's their website? Uh, they I think they probably just got a new one. That needs to be a mm, segment on the podcast. We could do Eric just shitting on bad websites. I think it's Wix. Oh, Wix. Yeah. So yeah, this oh, is we the could do that's the building. 
Gallagher's, reach out. We got you. <laughs> not for free. It's like but super like, cool. Not for free. <laughs> well, it depends on how many drinks you give me. Okay, let's see. Squarespace, sorry. That was close. Wait, how much do you guys charge for the a website? The inner guy came out of Eric for a second. How much do we charge for a website? Well, let me tell you, Matt. <laughs> it depends on what you need, okay? One page, landing page, and one extra. What about that? No? Let's One page? Yes. What's the extra? You just, the contact you, page, I'll give it to you for free. Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> as a salesperson, I'm known to throw in a free contact page. So. <laughs> um, one page with a contact page, 1950. Look, they even have the same glasses as you. Two thousand dollars in free drinks is what they'd have to offer you. I mean, it'd be a couple client meals. There we go. They have the same glasses. Yeah, Glen Karen. Everyone, uh, whiskey drinkers know you gotta have the Glen Karen. It even know. says it on the bottom. Apparently, I'm just a drunk thing because I drink out of a glass or a shot glass, rocks glass. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! If you're drinking it, if you're drinking it without any like ice or anything. Taste. You want them like you want them like so these. You can well, do no, the... On the rocks is usually what I do. Well, okay. So with some Hold like on. a little bit of saline, and some of these changes um, it up, or just a, like a yeah. drop like of water salt. changes them up. It just depends. Yeah. So, th they call them Southern Sundays. Mm -hmm. Um, an appetizer: bacon jam bruschetta, and then all you can eat fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> it's nineteen dollars. Fried chicken. Every kind, dirty mash with bacon, onion, and sour cream, Ooh. corn custard, and then fried green beans for twenty bucks. Uh? Yeah, all you can eat. That's pretty. And dangerous. then they also 20 have twenty bucks. It's mm -hmm. not bad. And then they also have smoked jalapeno grits, mac Ooh. and cheese, and um, creamy slaw. I'm gonna shout out Mike Duffy's real quick in Kirkwood. They got a good. Uh, they got a good fried chicken on like Wednesdays or something. Never been. So who are we saying is best brunch? I agree with Russell's on Macklin. I kind of like the shack, but I don't really get out much. Ooh. Make your like, man cry, burrito. I love the shack. I go to the sh I'm right I'm right down the street from I the know. one in um from the one in Doherty Ferry. Yeah. Nah, the bartenders are great. I just feel like the food, I don't know. It's so L good. Like buying like eggs and stuff for It is kind of expensive. Here here's the thing. I'm not going to go there and get a fucking omelet for 14 bucks I can make at home. But what I will do is go and get the chicken and waffles. Absolutely the, incredible shout out. But chicken they, waffles. they always run out of it. Not if you know them. Wait a minute. So you don't like eggs, but you'll eat an omelet? No, no I'm saying. No, I get the make I'm saying omelets are mid. Every time. If oh, I'm getting so so breakfast like burrito, it. incredible usually. Mm -hmm. But then it's just eggs and sausage. I'm like, I can make this at home for like $2. Have you guys been to uh, Original Pancake House in Chesterfield? Yes. Best breakfast ever. I heard IHOP has an incredible burger. Are you? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. We're done with this conversation. I haven't. I, that just I, like literally triggered me. What? <laughs> Do you remember their that marketing That IHOP campaign? would have a good IHOP. burger? Yeah. I, that, was a, that was a good marketing campaign. I'll yes. give them that. Yes. So I don't IHOP. Know if I'm going to eat a burger from there still, but. I was at Village Bar last week and mm -hmm. I was talking to someone at the bar. By the way, Village Bar is actually a good burger, and it's like ten dollars for a double. You're welcome. Um, and drinks are affordable. Rather um, than. Yeah, shout out Village Bar. Um, so many shout outs. Shout out. <laughs> that's a, that's a new thing. Shout out. It's Village the Christmas Bar. spirit. Yeah, shout out Village Bar. Go there. Um, what was I just gonna say? Burger, I hop burger. Oh yeah. So so I was talking to someone there, and they're like, "You would never guess a place that has a good burger." And I was like, it, "I was like, all right, shoot." And they were like, I hop. And I was like, I said the same thing as you guys. I was like, get the fuck out of here. I was like, there's no way. I hop for a burger. And did you go try it? No, I need to. You let Like me know. at this point, I need to. Anytime I drive by an I hop, there is no one there. I all I know is I know who recommended it. Except so for Sunday morning. If it's if it's bad. Still. If it's bad, bad, I'm sending her a Venmo request. Do you, oh, damn. Do you guys like Denny's or I like, hop? You better pay me back. <laughs> Say that again. Denny's or IHOP? Waffle House. Denny's. Wa oh. That wasn't part of the question. Well, I don't like either. Waffle House. Okay. Waffle House is good, too. Di it, Waffle, Waffle House, House is good, Waffle House is way better than Waffle Denny's. House has the best cheese eggs. Mm. Denny's used to be really good. It just seems well, that's like they, because they use American yeah, cheese. Yeah, it's kind of shit now. Uh. Denny's, Denny's went downhill when I was in college. Mm -hmm. it, like A lot of stuff went downhill about 2011, 2012. Denny's, because Denny's and Eureka, we used to go to all the time. That's how the one was, in Arnold was. It was open. I think the Denny's in Eureka was open twenty four seven. 
or I like to like Arnold think all Denny's I think are. they are. Yeah. Oh, we dude, we'd show up there in the Eureka. Denny's open on Christmas Day. Yeah. That's an, that's sad. If they you're are. going, if you're going to Denny's on Christmas Day, hit me up. Maybe I'll. No, my favorite, my like. I got. You, uh, yeah, you can join my family. All right. The thing that annoys me is no, like. That's like a two a.m. Oh, snack. you're saying the morning. Bef- mm-hmm. So you're saying you were out Christmas Eve and you sober up and get to your parents or family or kids or. Well, I mean, they're open all the time. But like, I, my thing is like Taco Bell, for example, because I go there a lot. They're on New Year's Eve. They're open till like. Taco Bell is disgusting. Oh, it's my favorite fast food. Oh, my God. No, the, on New Year's Eve, they're open till like, 1 a.m. And it's like, that's so ridiculous. 1 a.m., you're going to make them stay. Who gets I'm, – I'm sorry, but if you work at Taco Bell, do you think they get paid more on, like, the holidays? Is that considered a holiday? Yeah, they, yeah, do. they do. Only Christmas. So, so, like, Christmas Eve, New Year's so new, Eve, so go New fuck Year's yourself. Eve? No, okay. No New Year's Only Eve. Only Christmas. Only New mm. Year's. Thanksgiving, Christmas. Christmas, yeah. Thank God I never had to work at a fast food restaurant. It was terrible. Hey there, St. Louis podcast listeners. We've got some exciting news from our sponsor, Farmers Insurance of St. Louis, led by the man, the myth, the legend, Mark Lee. Mark Lee of Farmers Insurance is recruiting agency owners here in St. Louis. That's right, Garrett, and everyone knows what Farmers Insurance is, and if they don't, they will now. Yes, it's kind of a household name. That said, as many of you know, a large part of our audience is made up of badass business owners, entrepreneurs, and top producing sales professionals with an open mind like yourself. Farmers Insurance is currently searching for driven individuals who aspire to own their own business or already own their own business and want to add another income stream to join the Farmers Insurance brand and own their own business insurance agency this is a stellar opportunity to build your own insurance agency from scratch take over an existing agency or if you're just a slow roller we know you the guys out there and ladies get paid to train under an existing successful agency owner before starting your own holy shit eric that means that whether you have experience as a business owner or you've never heard the word business before in your life there's a pathway to owning your own business through farmers insurance agency led by mark lee That's right. You can become a farmer's insurance business owner, even if you've been homeless in the past, just like you. Yeah, thanks. (laughs) If you've ever dreamt of being your own boss, building a team under a reputable brand, and making a difference in your community by offering top-tier auto, home, and commercial insurance to consumers and businesses in your area, Farmer's Insurance of St. Louis, led by the godlike man himself, Mark Lee, has the perfect opportunity for you. Visit insurancecareerstl.com to speak with Mark Lee, the district manager of Farmers Insurance of St. Louis, to become a Farmers Insurance insurance agency owner today. Did you hear that, St. Louis? Go visit insurancecareerstl.com. Insurancecareerstl.com. That is I-N-S-U-R-A-N-C-E. Career, C-A-R-E-E-R-S-T-L.com. To become a business owner today, again, one more time, visit Insurance Career STL, as in St. Louis, dot com today, right now, this second, or reach out to us at St. Louis Podcast dot com, and we'll introduce you to Mark Lee ourselves. And I promise he won't spell out insurance and career to you. Now back to the show. I worked at, yeah, I worked at Breadco, but I didn't, I feel like, like I feel like we weren't really. I worked at McDonald's, it was fun. I'm just glad I never had to work with fryers. And you know shit. what pisses me off about McDonald's? <laughs> when I get a when I get a double cheese and the cheese ain't melted. Oh, it looks oh, it looks oh. like they just slapped it on there. Oh, because that's all they do. They don't melt it. Ruins my day. They don't melt it. Well, like I would like it to be gooey and melty. Doesn't happen. While we're doing shout out, shouts to the Denny's in Eureka for letting me not die during a blizzard. I appreciate you people. <laughs> <laughs> Cocktail bar Brennan's. Wait, I don't want to say Waffle House is a waffle home. <laughs> so why is this not going through? Pro- oh, here we go. Okay. Be Best Bakery, this, Missouri Baking Company. Yeah. I got nothing on that. Sure. So good. Works for me. Coffee Shop Caldies. Uh, you know what? Are we just using all? Wait, mm. Caldies? No. I don't agree with this I one. I don't either. And isn't Caldies a chain? Yeah. Picasso's is better. They're local. I believe Caldies was started here. Still. I don't actually. I don't think it was. Well, I mean, what do you want to be there? Like the local Starbucks? Uh? <laughs> um, well, no, it could be like Picasso's. It could be. Uh, I ha- I have one. I have one. Else. I would recommend not to be on there, which I've I won't shot. say. 
Hmm. Was that Panera? Like, which one? He no, they're local. Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, no. Oh. no, 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 no. I know you hate them too. Who? No one. Come on. You, you can't us. just leave us hanging. You gotta no, say it now. It you, you know it starts with an onomatopoeia. It ends with a I don't know. <laughs> that did not help. At Overall all. dining experience. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Overall dining, I'm not a big I'm not a big like coffee bar guy, so I don't really know a lot of like uh, the local coffee shop in in Webster Groves is good. What's the name of that one? Oh, I know which one it is. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, we talked. You we talk, say it then. Overall, di- don't say it. Overall dining experience, Olive and Oak. One of my friends works there. I feel like Olive and Oak. That's a safe play. Never been. That's it's great. Too expensive for me. It's expensive. It's good though. Happy hour. Go during happy hour. Are we just using all of the I like unfortunately content? don't get off work early enough. So all right, favorite brewery. Four hands. hands. Four hands, yeah. What are we doing? Yeah, we're up for mm-hmm. it. You know that that really depends on if they want to make us a double IPA. What did they say? Four hands. Thought so. But well, four hands is also up. a sponsor of them, and I believe they are friends. Cheers so. to that. <laughs> oh, that's a Wait a minute, are we are we seeing some favoritism in the in the awards? Um, we are. Shout you can't out give an award to somebody who sponsors your shout podcast. out shout out second shift. Um what's the one in um Webster Groves? They got a Webster Schlafly? No. <laughs> Not sorry, Anheuser Schlafly. Bush? Schlafly yeah, actually. There we go. That's a good brewery right mm-hmm. there. So Schlafly actually. We love AB. You know what? I've been disappointed in That's Schlafly since sponsor. since I started drinking beers here locally. <laughs> Schlafly has had the most boring. The labels are <laughs> fucking Fallon boring. Brewery? You know what? I'm not going to shit on a dying business. Um, <laughs> oh, damn. Your five pretzel beers? What are you, mm-hmm. fucking insane? <laughs> Yeah. Who is buying these beers? No one wants your fucking pr- caramel my pretzel, da- your salt does. pretzel. Get your fucking pretzel beers out of here. Mm. I feel like there are there are brewmasters that don't know what they're doing, that are just trying to make beer for themselves. Guess what? You have to sell that product, and people actually want to be able to drink it and buy it. So who's your favorite brewery? Um, Second okay. Shift is great. Uh, uh, what's the one in um, Clayton? Or not Clayton. What's the one in... Um, if you can't remember their name, they're probably yeah, not they're your probably favorite. Not I'm so good. bad. I have... I can't even think off top. I'm looking... All right, hold on. The rage that's going through yeah. about O'Fallon Brewery is just... <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel sloppy. slighted, Eric? So they've been sold like three times in the past year. Now, apparently, they just got bought again. Um... That sounds like a business that doesn't understand the I need actually want to go back to the brunch thought. I forgot about one. Um, City Coffee House in Creepery in Clayton. Polite Society has great. Yep. Careful. Now. Um, <laughs> the fuck was that? If you, ever, you ever go to Lafayette Park? Lafayette Square Park? No. You got Squires down there. I have heard that's good. Uh, actually, I changed my mind. Wheelhouse. Mm. That's good for mimosas. Yeah, Wheelhouse does have good food, though. Do they? Mm hmm. I don't know if I've ever eaten at Wheelhouse before. It's, one re- time. it's actually really good. Their brunch. Interesting. Well, you like your top top golf too much, don't you, Erica? Top golf. <sighs> I haven't been to top golf in a while. There you go. Best brunch. Top Ooh. golf. Top golf after this. Ooh. <laughs> mac, and, mac and cheese bites. <laughs> mac and cheese bites. There we go. All right, hold on. Lo- local. All right, St. Louis Brewers. Hold on. Think we've moved on. The rest of the team would be so mad if <laughs> we were like, "Yeah, anybody yeah, on the podcast yeah. wants a top golf <laughs> after." You know, that's what happens when they don't come Should here. Should have been on the I podcast. I do want to ask real quick, why is it just you four that showed up today when you have a decent-sized team? Everybody huh? said they were too busy. So second Aww. shift. Ah. I gave them a pretty long list of work. <laughs> so, you know. Modern Brewery. Sorry, guys. Modern Brewery is good. I feel like Urban Chestnut's going to hit and miss. <gasps> oh, oh wow. my gosh. Look who it is. <laughs> I'm here. We're talking about favorite breweries. Okay. Oh my Here. God! Wow, he's joining us. This just got so much better. Yeah, this is even better. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only. Alex Deet. You know what's so funny? Let, let Let's talk about all the gripes you have this studio right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's fitting have which chair he's gonna have to sit in. <laughs> <laughs> the broken chair. Have you had it yet? Yeah. I have. This is good. 
Mm-hmm. They're good. Jeez, these are really good. All right, Eric, just get your list and ready. And he has the bad headset, too. It's Look like, at that. It's a new headset. Oh, just the one I don't want. Just the one you don't like, yes. Uh, Got it. We actually just agreed we're going to go to Top Golf after this. All right, everyone. Alex Dietrich, the CEO at Half Coast Studios, the studio we're sitting in right now. <laughs> I was, Hello. as I was just saying, I would vote this as the number one podcast recording studio, but there's been s- falling behind. there's been some competition that has popped up recently, and I don't know. I don't know maybe you got, you got a little work to do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, shout out HalfCoastStudios.com if you want to. Well, come on, Eric. Use the no, studio. No, no. Let's your yeah, complaints your now. Well, oh yeah. yeah what, what you know got? we need. <clears throat> I like my own these chairs. We so. need we need the low the low profile arms. Okay, low, low pro- profile what arms. Else? Keep going. Chairs. Okay, what else? And Here's what I'm thinking. We leave the table behind. <laughs> we just do couches. Ooh. So down. No, we just need it's a, like a chill, relaxed studio environment. Ooh. Or it needs to be like a like a a U shape sort of, and there's four seats. So you can look at each other, but it's not like a right oh, across. Oh, like a V? So yeah. Like, a news like the impulsive setup? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, keep going. Oh. Yes. <laughs> the, beard. the beard. Do you like yeah. this? He's yeah. missing one. Yeah. Wait, what happened? Oh, shit, it fell off. It fell off, like, literally right away. Yeah, before it, it started. Yeah. We have limited flexibility in the studio for all that. I'm just looking at a bigger place. So we're working on Hey-o. it. Hey, You know, the couches would work. Not necessarily the... But everybody would have not to use the, them. You should. Like everybody so would we, be we then. We the kind of famous ones. The <laughs> <laughs> steal their chairs. There we go. Ellie Belly's chairs. I had f- I Shout had out f- kind of famous. I had four on. What happened? Now I only have two. Because you suck. One that's why. Has it just fallen? Yeah, it's on the ground. The gold one. Yeah, it's by the foot. Just steal one off Chris's face. He won't mind. <laughs> Please Sorry. don't. You're oh. ripping it out. Did you break one? Hopefully it goes back on. How was Clayton? <laughs> he was he was, he was trembling for a second. Yeah. He, he like did not want to come. He, he was, was so, so stressed about coming over. I can't believe you got we him. We forced man. him. I was very surprised when I saw that photo. He didn't talk that much, but he was on. Yeah, he he, he did, did it though. Mm-hmm. He did it's it. Huge. Is he that his debut on? Is Zach? that Clayton's debut on camera? Yes. All time. Well, yes. Alex, now your mic etiquette's just snapped apart, and we're gonna need that a little closer. What are you doing here, CEO Ooh. of the podcast? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> As an employee, you better watch could, yourself, Matt. Nah, I couldn't stand having him in my ear the whole podcast. <laughs> it is my one and only goal to make his life hell every yeah, week. Yeah, that's fair. It's what I enjoy most in life. <laughs> so, right before you walked in, we were talking about the best breweries. Like we were oh, talking yeah, about everywhere. Everywhere. Lo- lo- We were talking about here locally. <laughs> Okay. We were talking. We were going through bucket list awards, <laughs> and they awarded four hands. Now I'm not gonna lie, four hands is good, Maybe. but they've been sticking on their IPAs. They got the incarnation. They got the same shit. Can we get a new IPA, please? Have you seen the had the Voltron one? Yeah, it's hazy. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what your preferences are. Give me an Imperial. <laughs> Why are they all putting orange juice in their fucking IPAs? Yeah. No one asked for your fruit. I'm not a huge. Wait, is this aimed at four hands? Huh. Is that aimed at four hands? No. No, this no, is okay, all. Good. A lot of people do. Like, uh, well, I want to make sure because we still want four hands as a sponsor. Mm-hmm. No, th- dude, yeah. we're making a double IPA Ask with her four hands. It, really. We're yeah. making a double. Four hands doesn't even have a double. Let's actually look to make sure. But I'm almost positive that four hands does not Kevin, have a double. Kevin Lum's gonna come in here and get you squared away. He's gonna be like, "Let me tell you." And next week on the podcast, Kevin, I'm telling you, they don't have. They don't have so, the, what is your favorite locally? He can't remember I, the name. He said, uh, <laughs> he said one in Clayton. And he, no, I like to look it up. For what about you? Minutes. Second Shift is what good. About you all? Second said, Shift um, has good stuff. Anheuser have... Brewery or Anheuser Busch? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Anheuser Brewery. Urban, Urban Chestnut's on here. I think it's fine. Oh, I like Urban Chestnut, but that's because I did photos of them. I don't like beer, so. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one there. The I do like these. Yeah, I do like seltzers. these. Side, side project. That's in Maplewood. That's who I was trying to think of earlier. Side project. I was just there not too long ago. Their spot's dope. Yeah. Yeah. It they was when they had the the main uh, lobster food mm-hmm. truck. Mm-hmm. Did you hear about? Like, it's like a big, I guess mm-hmm. they're big in Na- Nashville. Yeah. They have, like, main lobster, like, rolls. It's like a food. Oh, my God. It was so good. And it was just in the back of that place. 
I think Bluewood Brewing, wasn't that started? That just started recently by someone that broke Bluewood. away from, um, or maybe not Bluewood. They have the bird, the blue bird, kind of like the old Twitter logo. Maybe it is Bluewood. What about Rockwell? I really uh, like fresh. Center Ice. I knew you were going to say Center Ice, but mm-hmm. they don't make, are they still making beer? Uh, I think they are. It's just only in stores, obviously. They don't have that location anymore. Bluewood mm-hmm. Brewery is like a tree for their logo, so I'm not sure what you're thinking about. Yeah, I know. He was I, on their site when he said that. I don't know why. Center he, Ice, though. I think he was looking directly <laughs> at their logo going. <laughs> Calling them out. Center Ice is Get really good. Get out of here, you OCD fucker. <laughs> why don't they have, uh, whatever happened to the brew, is that, um, is that COVID? It was, I think it was the culmination of COVID, but also they like Permanently jacked closed. rent up to, on all those businesses because of the city park opening up. Like mm-hmm. it was like literally straight ran them out of the building. Where were they at? Are they right by city park? It was right by, uh, um, well, uh, just in the air in the area. There, it was yeah. worth that barbecue place right by there. That's the not. Tuge. That's not. That's not close enough to city park for them to be raving, raising rents there all the way over to. Only- you ain't Six walking months. that. I don't know if it and I don't know. It was a culmination of a couple of things, I believe. You probably are. Anyone charging high rent down here is hilarious. Um, did you see that uh Kalachi? Remember he came on? Mm-hmm. Russ. Uh he just posted a picture, I think yesterday or two days ago, they got broken into again, same location. Really? Broke the front door out. Yeah. Free bird brewing. There we go. Yes, thank you. Yes. So they he started he was a uh, he broke off of what was it forehands or uh, got He came from one of those. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> he was a after? 2020 home brew Having contest a cricket winner. Having cricket is like Yeah, the worst I guess they're not going to say his cricket. old brewery. I'm looking, <laughs> like you're just yeah. looking. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Well, okay, okay. Moving on from breweries, I'm over it. All right. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't drink. Let's beer. go to the next one. Next it's like 25 Let's minutes. go to the next one. Best patio. They got John McGurk's. I mean, that's I fair, but agree. also for 21-year-olds. Can we get a... To, their patio is great. What, you want kids? No, I'm saying that Kid is... friendly patio. Yeah, what? No, I'm saying that is who goes there, yeah, our yeah. kids. I'm like, where's the adult patio? Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, you go there Friday, Friday or Saturday or even Thursday mm-hmm. after 9 p.m., you're going to want to... If you're over 28, you hate your life. Best patio. Patios. I would, nice. I would... <laughs> Yeah, I mean awesome that's fair. They have the turf out there now. What is the uh, what's the old building? Um, or it wasn't even old. It was a wine place. It was on. It was uh, off Cherokee, right where like Hamilton Steakhouse is. Um, right where Planters House is. Mm. Um, Vindicet, that whole building burnt up, but Vindicet used to have the best patio because mm. it was on like the top floor. I'm trying to think. Maybe if 360 would open up in Westport. Oh, I don't even know if they're going to have a patio, though. I thought it was already open. No. No. Mm. Do not believe so. Is Soda Fountain open yet? I don't even think that's open yet. That shit is expensive as fuck. Soda Fountain? Shout out. No. Overrated. Yeah. It overrated <laughs> and, s- and literally so expensive. <laughs> Or like nothing. It's it's a tourist trap. Why do you think oh, yeah. they, Why do you think they're going to put it there next to the Rawlings? store we went to the one on union station and we were like <laughs> look at this all right i'm not i don't like are they local mm. they probably need some review management some reputation management price reduction too uh okay so uh, hold on let's look it up what's it called <laughs> Soda fountain. There we go. <laughs> Have you guys just been going through the whole thing? Like no. soda fountain. Or did you just start? No, we're go- we yeah, we're going through. through the whole list. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah but it's it hasn't been, like been the whole forty yeah, minutes now. It hasn't now. been the whole episode though. Oh, okay. Has been a while. We talked about Gypsy Rose. You familiar? Mm-mm. Don't. No, we're not, not, we're not. We're not going, 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 going back into it. Right. I'm not going back into it. It's in the TLC though. Yeah, we talked about TLC shows. Eating your mattress. Strange addictions. Like the network. Fucking your car. TLC. Look at the review. The network. Yeah. Yes. Three point three. Nice. How many? Nine seventy eight. Thousand reviews. <laughs> not great. That's I've seen not that. good. I've not seen great. That. I remember That's that. not what you want. Well, Yo, he's like rubbing sorry, his your, car. Your polygamist yeah. car. He's like mm-hmm. rubbing on it. Yeah. yeah so they have. I was telling Clayton car. they have a he's like got a where five they are of them. now. Oh yeah, yeah. Where they are now, and he has like five cars now and a boat, and he's uh, in a relationship Mormon. with all of them. Nice. So how's he? How's he doing his boat? And a boat. 
So how does he do these things? So he takes uh, he the does boat. Probably makes sense because they have bilge pumps. Oh Jesus Christ! You just shove it in the tailpipe, Eric. You're fine. Oh my! Something God. with their propeller. He, like, one of the one no, like his, his. I know how big my tailpipe is. <laughs> well, you take like one of those beer koozies. And you this put guy it better be packing. This is insane. <laughs> Like a beer koozie first, you put it in there, and then you just start going for it. No. A beer do you think koozie. a dude who fucks his car is packing? <laughs> like that seems. There's like no that. way. Yeah. I think he has some mental illness thing going on. Uh, I mean, I would imagine so. I would, I would, yeah, are you gonna make fun of people with mental illness, Eric? Yes. Uh-uh. TLC does it, and we're supposed to enjoy it. And I do. <laughs> Eve- Big fan. <laughs> Eventually, there's gonna be like um, a class action lawsuit against TLC. Well, they have. Well, they probably signed. Sign, they, they, sign, yeah. sign, they, they probably signed. They probably doing. They probably signed ironclad agreements yeah. that are you like you ain't getting them. anything. Yeah, <laughs> that's insane. So Center Ice still makes beer. Where are they making beer out of? Are that? you oh my literally God. joking? I'm just curious where they're I, making beer. I don't out of. know for sure, but I'm pretty sure they are making it and they're still distributing it. Interesting. Wait, you didn't want me to go back? What's, to brew? No. What's the next one? All right, best patio. So we all agree on McGurk's. I don't know. I was I don't sitting there like for the McGurk's. longest time trying to think of all the patios. I don't. The only thing coming to mind is Billy G's. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, that it is, is a nice patio. It's not yeah, a bad yeah. patio. With the big but boots. is it the best? No, but that's literally the only thing coming to mind. Let's go to Google right now. Hold on. Best patio, St. Louis. Let's I just you to it. <laughs> what I do think we got? that like the awards are already chosen, so our input doesn't really matter. All Until right. next year when we start our Downtown own award show. Midtown. Which one do you want? Do you want just like Central, uh, West End, or what are we looking for? Broadway I mean, best, Oyster Bar. Best in St. Louis. Broadway, Broadway Oyster Bar. All right, that's fair. Ballpark yeah. Village. Where is there a patio there? The, all that whole back area. Oh, is yeah, Sports and Social. The whole, yeah, sports. Yeah, that, that is the best to me. Ugh. Blondies? The fuck is Blondies? Sports and Social. 360. Urban Chestnut. The, old, the uh, one in... Um, the one on Washington. They have a good mm. patio. They always have the bro- the oyster event there. Have you gone to the new Forehands in Chesterfield? No, I went yes. to. That's... They got a little patio going. Yeah. I think that'll be cool in like the in the summer and stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, once they start building stuff out. Yeah, because they got their restaurants opening on the sides of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like stuff's coming back to the outlets now. Well, God knows people in Chesterfield don't want to go downtown. <laughs> they want to. They're like, put it all right here for me so that way I don't have to leave. I get it. Hey, Literally. shit. Fair enough. It's Molly's Planter House, Square One, Squires. Mo- I don't love Molly's patio that much. I don't know how it's they so haven't. Cramped. How have they not been sued like eight times for people <laughs> falling? They have like steps where there's no handrails. A couple months ago, my friend said she went. Shout out at personal night. injury attorney. Who do I'm we like, <laughs> Who do we need? A, hey, we're Brown looking and for. Per- Brown and Crippen. Brown we're and looking for a personal injury attorney <laughs> that's looking to sponsor this podcast because God knows the people that listen hurt themselves all the time. So, one of my best friends we went there on a Saturday to drink, and she said people were jumping off that roof, of like the building on the right. What roof? Where? At Molly's. They're jumping off the roof. Yeah, because you can go upstairs. Oh yeah. And they were just like jumping off. And she's like, we got we got out of I don't know. Did you ever jump off your roof as a kid? Yes. No. <laughs> that you makes did. a lot of sense. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I jumped onto our trampoline. Yeah, that's right. We jumped off. Yeah, dude. Right. He literally raised his hand. I dude, did. we jump. We jump like 15 feet on a trampoline and do like a fucking double backflip off of it. Have you seen my roof? There's no way. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but it's yeah, like multi-angled. No, and that's like multiple. Like no, no shot. No. Well, we would climb up on the back. Um, shout out my parents. Uh, we would climb up on the. <laughs> Give a lot of shout outs. <laughs> you don't yeah, even know. Know. For 15 minutes. Don't even know. That's the theme of today. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the theme. Shout out. Yo, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, Happy Holidays. Did you, know, you have happy, like a flat part on like the back? Happy of your Kwanzaa, room, Happy. Uh, what's the other one we missed? I missed. Uh, I, I missed Hanukkah. Kwanzaa? I was about to say I missed the Jewish he said holiday. Kwanzaa. Oh. I don't even know what Kwanzaa is. I don't either. I don't really know what Kwa- what uh, Hanukkah is either. I thought, I thought I thought they were like the pr- same. <laughs> they already they already went through their thirteen days. They should have. Huh? Yeah. Hmm. Actually, I think last or last Thursday was the thirteenth. It was last week sometime. I don't know the day. All of my Jewish friends bitch about it though. They're like, I don't want thirteen shitty presents. I mean, it, okay. that's uh, yeah, it's supposed the, to go against the, the spirit like to, to them the bitch about the presents. I know it's not about the presents. <laughs> it's not about yeah. the presents. It's a bad family. It's supposed to be 13 and coming days of together. Like giving. Yeah. All of I, was it. To, I was about to say something fucked up, but I'm not going <laughs> to. What? I want to hear That's it. That's appropriate. No, it's okay. It's not appropriate. Oh, come here, yeah, it is. Hold your. Th- hey, 
with what's going on in Israel, That's hold your thoughts. That's what I was going to say. I was going to be like, <laughs> hold okay, your focus, on, focus on your own plan. Good, good. Uh, please, hold no. your thoughts and prayers. <laughs> <laughs> What are they saying? All Shalom. right, we're not getting canceled this week. On to the next one. Best barbecue. It. Best barbecue. They put salt and Bandana's smoke. Bandana's barbecue. They put salt and smoke. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm what? Kidding. Salt and kidding. smoke. Do you remember the salt and smoke that we had when we bought it? God, when, it was garbage. When we were at, expo. Yeah. at the St. Louis garbage. Business Expo from your St. Charles Shout out location. Business expo. Shout, shout out, out shout out, Small <clears throat> Business Monthly. Shout out, Business Expo. <laughs> shout out, Ron Amlin. He was already on the podcast. No, Small Business Monthly doesn't get a shout out this time. <laughs> shout out, <laughs> shout out, Ron Amlin. Um, they gave us a bad list. Best barbecue salt, salt and, and smoke. Not bad. It's not good. I like the mac and cheese the best. It's fine. I feel like salt give me somebody list some other options. Dailies, Bogarts, Sugar Fire, Trash, Dailies. Dailies. Sugar Fire Where was is like that? the original. Pappies. Dailies is right yeah, by your apartment. Pappies is the one that's Dailies by is, right, is right by your apartment. That's the one by us, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Dailies heat. Sugar Fire walked so Pappies could run. Sugar Fire is like literally <laughs> dog shit. So. Sugar Fire. That's fine, but it was like the <laughs> no. first. And you also just said that to. was your favorite. Sugar. No. I did not say it was my favorite. You literally just, I just voted Sugar that. Fire. Just voted. No, hold on. Sugar no. Fire. <laughs> Sugar Fire no. ran into the same <laughs> issue as Salt and Smoke. Too many locations. Yeah. Yeah. They Salt and Smoke has like three. Well, all I know Sugar is Sugar Fire has a ton of locations. Yeah, Sugar what's Fire has like place, 180. What's like the place every that's on city. the old streets of St. Charles? Salt and Smoke. Salt and Smoke. That one. Okay. That's what we got. No, for there's another Expo. one there. There's another one. Um, I think there is. Yeah, there is. Big Woody's. I don't know, man. I... What do you laugh? What's so funny? <laughs> What's so funny about Big Woody's, Chris? You, you liking Big Woody's over there? Why are you laughing at Big Woody's, Chris? I do like Bandana's Barbecue. <laughs> Duke's Barbecue and Winston's What the really fuck? Good. Bandana's? Mm -hmm. I good. literally... It's consistent. Bandana's was arguably the all they got one for. of the worst barbecue places I've ever been to in my whole life. Watch your mouth. <laughs> I worked there. For you. But it's consistently bad. Consistently shit. It's sure. consistently good. They got mac and cheese, their potato salad. I'm sorry. If you go to Bandanas, I like potato salad. we know there's a place five miles away from you way better than Bandanas. That's a hot take. That's a hot take. I don't like mm -hmm. Bandanas. I don't. I I'd hate probably bandanas. say Duke's Barbecue oh, or <laughs> Salt and Smoke. Yeah, I don't like it. I hate it. <laughs> so the but Salt and Smoke left the barbecue out last time. So you know. Yeah, it was dry. Best as barbecue fuck. restaurant with no barbecue. <laughs> Dude, I literally was like, we I had no this. sauce. I that's what yeah, you just that's said. a little dry. <laughs> They literally gave us lunch. We had like three sandwiches, fries, and, and they gave us no sauce. Mm -mm. And on every single order, we put a sauce. Yeah. And the only sauce the Business Expo had was literally ketchup and mustard. And I yeah. was like, I'm yeah. not eating this with my fucking pulled chicken. Are yeah. you are, how many are left on the list? You guys were on that time. When, how many are left on the list? When, uh... We, we got we got time here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, it's already 1.23. When you were younger, did you ever go to Barney's, Eric? That place by Silky's that closed down that was yes. there forever? Yes. Do you remember Barney's? Yes. Barney's is incredible. Yeah. There was all smoke stuff. Yeah, and it was like it came in the cup. They put it in the cups. And That's not like there take, anymore? I don't I don't know. I can't remember. Well, it's all, I know it's only open in like the summer, right? I just haven't had it in forever. I so went. It popped into my mind, though, because Barney's was literally fucking amazing. Uh, I went to the uh, the place that was right behind Barney's, uh, the uh, preschool. That's where I went. Oh, okay. That preschool right behind Barney's. Yeah. That's where I was at. It's That's been where there for. Out. It was there for. It says ever, permanently dude. closed. Yeah, That's where you I hung out, dude. I think COVID might have finished them. Yikes. <laughs> that's Shout like my. COVID. That's like my mom's huh? favorite place. They dude. only Shout have out COVID. They only have seventy four <laughs> reviews. <laughs> they probably so, didn't fuck with that much. Dude, time. I saw. Um, by the way, I know. I know you love East Side. I saw them getting a lot. <laughs> like looks Casino right. Queen. Looks, <laughs> no, he likes East Side Pizza. Pops? No, no, no. Oh, East... yeah, yeah, yeah. They were I was getting... so rattled. I was I like, East like, St. Louis. I'm like really familiar with the East Side. He no, no, no. Right they were, eyes. dude, they were like, getting, dude. they were getting shit on the other day <laughs> on, um, it was Reddit or something. East Louis. Coast Pizza? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were getting, it's been a long time since I've had it. They were getting dumped on. I only had it because it, that was when I was at Spag. I have a, I have an award. But I, I just had it like six months ago. Best sushi. And it was solid as fuck. I always like Boardwalk. No, sorry, it was boardwalk. Oh, it was boardwalk. It was boardwalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, okay. I was thinking. 
Oh, yeah. Looks. Yes, it was Boardwalk. Okay. Yeah, best strip club. Boardwalk was getting shit on. <laughs> Damn. By who? It was on Reddit or something. Oh, wow. I forget. Or on Virgil, Facebook. Virgil, our homie Virgil. Yeah. I love that place. They were getting... <laughs> they were getting. <laughs> That's what we need to do. <laughs> best liquor store. Chris just said best strip club. Best, I, I, he threw out the east side. I don't, I don't know. What, what's over there? Larry's. Diamonds. No, sorry, that's is Larry's. Country is, Rock. Is that one? <laughs> yeah. Eric just likes his only fans. All right, let him be oh, in peace. Fuck. Yeah, he right. likes Lena the plug. That's right, <laughs> Lena the, yeah, Lena the plug. Uh, that's my rated. favorite. Um, God damn. How much time? How much time we got? Five minutes. We have the CEO over here, and we're. <laughs> When's your? When's the next you're person coming in? Two thirty. Hmm? When's the next person? Why you're here? Three, but I have to set up. Four. No, I, was, so I, I can't be here for this. Five minutes. Oh, uh, we're good. I'm gonna go end. pee real quick. Are you literally <laughs> kidding? No. It was a surprise at the end. You have five minutes. He's yeah, fine. seriously. He's fine. Keep it going. <laughs> Dear Lord. Don't stop. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, while he's gone, let's talk about all the times Eric sucked this year. I think it's like eight times he's gotten up in the middle of recording just to go take a piss. You should make a compilation of all the times he got up. That's far more work than really? Eric's. <laughs> I think there's only like three. Uh, including he just this one. leaves in the middle? He mm-hmm. has before, yeah. Dear Lord. It happens. And you guys let him go? Yes. Uh, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, he he locks the door. Like, <laughs> just lock the door to let him back It in. locks it from the inside. We should lock him out and just in the podcast. So you went through seven? from what? I don't know. He brought it to his house. Mm. 110 proof. There you go. I didn't try it. I smelled it, and I was like, I will vomit. Don't smell it. It's. A, I mean, it's all right. I can. <laughs> it's. I mean, do you like whiskey it or bourbon? It smells strong, but it does actually taste. It's really smooth. Yeah. But it should have hundred dollars a bottle. Jesus. Oh yeah, no, that's okay, super San Luis. fucking smooth, bro. <laughs> I don't that, know if you're joking or not. No, it, it's 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 really. I smooth, expected but way worse. Strong. That's yeah. No, it's good. <laughs> I expected that to go way like harsher based on like her build up of it. I was gonna be like, Ugh. but no. Oh no, just, she didn't even drink it. She just sniffed it. Mm-mm. But it's a hundred dollar bottle of whiskey. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's good. Happy hours. They've got Billy G's. There you go. Yeah. Is Ooh, Kai Ren? They used to do buy. They used to do buy one get one beers, the big bottles, they and discounted sake. fucking rolls. They did. Mm. Yeah, I didn't. I don't really fuck with sake that much. Really? Though. Justin mm. does. He always. He fucks didn't with you literally sake. have that in New York? Like a fuck ton of it. Oh yeah, the bottomless <laughs> yeah, sake did. in New York. <laughs> yeah, but it's because it's bottomless. <laughs> <laughs> what Can't was say that, no to the what was that show called? It was like fucking Batsu. <laughs> it was the Japanese game show in New yeah. York. Jesus. I can't remember. If, did I tell you about that, Matt? No, you didn't. But I'll have to tell you about it later. Oh man, that sounds terrible. Are you literally kidding? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to turn my face. You had to. You had to be. In a, it was like a selfie. <laughs> I was trying to turn the. <laughs> I was ice cream and frozen custard. They've got Ted Drews, which yeah, is like. Yeah, I mean, that's what you'd expect. Yeah, it says. Boring. No. What do you want there, Sonic? You want no, Dairy no, Queen there in that place? Yeah, there we go. Fritz's. Fritz's is the root beer. Right? I know, the yeah, soda. but Fritz's. Fritz's is, on... is right by me. Right by me. so good. Incredible. Yeah. It is really good. And it's so me. convenient. You know what I've also found out about, about Andy's or so Hey, question. Fritz's doesn't. Uh, so sometimes I have issues with uh, lactate, mm-hmm. with digesting. Okay. Nice. I've never had an issue with Fritz's. Nice. Could be something. Um, how they do sometimes it. Hey. To see so sometimes if that. I eat ice cream, it feels like I have like literally a knot in my stomach. Is that Ooh, one tough. Italian restaurant by the Dunkin' there anymore? Nicoletti's? Nope. No, it's a Mexican restaurant that n- is never opening. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? They've been working on it forever. I have no Why idea. Why are they trying to compete with El Nopal that's right there? Right what are there. you doing? I don't know. I'm going to go to El Nopal forever. Fuck you. I have Nicoletti's no idea. Good. Yeah, I know it was. I they're putting a. Um, it was pretty nice too. Oh yeah, dude. They're building a at the uh, bottom of the con. Or what's it the, called? Um, uh, B. Fuck. It's uh, like a huge place. Bendol. Uh, Bendol. Yeah, look Jesus it up. Christ. It's at the bottom of those nice apartments. That's why it's gone. Because there's an Italian restaurant opening up 
at the you know those nice apartments. What the hell is that noise? What's it called? Matt's like oh. lunch. Matt's <laughs> eating it back there. <laughs> what? It's off. It's officially one thirty. <laughs> That was the time. That was the timer. It wasn't a session. It was fucking lunchtime. <laughs> yeah, literally. Um, this guy says his next recording is in an hour and a half. He has to get ready. Yes, I have work to do besides listening an hour to you guys and a half. Yes, I have work to do besides listening to you guys all day. Unfortunately, yeah, it's not just just you, Eric. <laughs> Can you look up that place? It's gonna I, bug me. I'm trying to find it. New restaurant. You know the really nice apartments right there. What's it called though? Um, what are the Close restaurants? Uh, so like Big Ben 141, the really nice apartments where we're mm-hmm. talking about. Yeah. There's something. Uh, there's an Italian restaurant opening at the bottom. Bartolino's. Of it. Yeah. There we go. That's opening at the bottom of it. Those are not that nice. There's already like two of those. Bartolino's. Yeah, yeah Bartolino's South, I South I didn't County. Say, They're sorry, like. Sorry, I didn't mean to nice. say nice. <laughs> I'm a new like, one. No, Bartolino's is solid. Like there's one. Oh, it's not. Yeah, nice. do you but know? It's not like nice. I don't think it's you said not, it was nice. I think do you, you know, said the apartments were nice. The, the, yeah, the, sorry. Nice she had me. Said, she had me rattled. I was like, did I say it was nice? The Bartolino's <laughs> off <laughs> off Hampton down there, um, the Drury Hotel. It's in the Drury Hotel. Next to City Park? Apparent, um, the no, Stanford? 44, you get off at Hampton. There's a Lion's Choice right there. Mm-hmm. You're on the hill, essentially, or the start to the hill. I love Lion's Bartolino's Choice. is right there. Apparently, for the ladies and men out there, there are 50 and 60-year-olds. Apparently, that's the place if you're an older person. Well, yeah. Apparently. Bartolino's. But that's opening in that area. Have you guys been to? So that's um, right up the street for me. I don't know where that what the hey, deal is. That with explains that. it. Hey, I don't know hey. what the deal. I don't know what hey. that deal is with the Mexican Can restaurant. I get some though, cougars. Never, hey. never opens up. Have you guys been to uh, Ferrados on Manchester? Yes. yes. What's your opinion? Uh, it's fine. Where is that? It's good. Uh, right on the corner, across from like Fresh Time. Yeah, it's good. On Manchester and like Kirkwood. Yeah. I don't uh, know they're they're. I like their patio. Yeah, their patio is nice. Yeah, they make they make good food. We tried to go there uh, a couple weeks ago and. They were so fucking busy. There's a lot. They of, always are. There's a lot of old people that go in there. Yeah, there, there's a lot of big parties. Like we that walked in at like yeah, four thirty yeah. on a Sunday to try to beat the crowd, and they were like, "Oh yeah, forty five minute wait." And we we're like, "Nothing." So, you. so I just went to Up Down this weekend. Mm-hmm. Why did we pick Dave and Buster's and not go to Up Down for our holiday? We went to Up Down for my up birthday. Down. Remember? Yeah, we'd no, always go, go for my birthday. I know, but we haven't been in years. I, I yeah. didn't go to that. I played. I was too new. I was like, I don't know. Bro, so I got teamed up against on Killer Queen. I got teamed up against. So there is like, there is like 15 people there this weekend, and like only only (laughs) half, only half of them wanted to play, and they all went on the other team as me. So I always had. So it was usually it was four of them. Oh, you had the new people that were rotating against. Like I was the queen, and all I tried to do was take them out and win every time. I lost. It's a team effort, man. You're fucked. I could only carry. I think I won twenty percent of games. You're fucked. No, no, no. I was getting pissed. I was like, I can't. I literally Literally, can't win. There's so many ways to win. It's a team game. I know. I can't explain it to you because have you played it? Mm -mm. No, they kept bend up down. They collect. They kept collecting the berries. You collect the berries, and so and I was the snail. I would go up and you I ride would the snail. sit. I would sit in their spawn and just destroy them as they brought the berries up. That's how I won like two games. I'd sit up there in the spawn, kill them, and the queen would try and come up there, and I'd just kill her. All I do when I play my role is to be a warrior and murk all the workers. That's like doing the berries. I just murk them repeatedly. Yeah, no, no one no knew how berries. to be a warrior. No, no one berries. Knew, no one fucking... knew how to be a warrior. But you can also yeah. kill the queen if you come from the top, yeah. right? Yeah. But I don't fuck with that. <laughs> I just, I just kill the workers. You know, bro. Hey, do you know what we're talking about? No clue. Literally. Yeah, no we should idea. probably go to up down. Yeah. It's about time we show everybody Killer Queen. So I was talking. I was. It's talking on to, Switch now. I, mean, I was talking to probably Nikhil. He said. The, D- the Daytona game, remember how they used to have Daytona USA at um, Dave & Buster's? They used to have like 12 of them, mm-hmm. and you could race the NASCAR tracks. It was sick, the best racing game of all time. They don't have it anymore. Damn. We had fun playing the Mario Kart racing when we were at, uh, what was that main event? When we played, do you remember mm-hmm. it was you, me, yeah. and Matt, yeah. and we like yeah. raced a bunch, like yeah. a million times yeah. at the end? yeah. yeah. Well, they have uh, they have an N sixty four at Updown, and the resolution, you can see about five feet in front of you. <laughs> it's Isn't it fuck. on a projector? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's awful. They I'm do like, tournaments there for, on that shit. Yeah. That is in, 
That's insane. It's I'm impossible to see. I got second place. I, we played Rainbow Road, arguably the worst one to play with that TV. Yeah. Because literally the the bomb guy would come out of nowhere. Not the bomb guy. Um, Chomp Chomp. Yeah. What's his name? I think, isn't that what it's Chomp. called? Is it Chomp? Yeah. he just come out of nowhere and you try and swerve and he just eats you up. You're <laughs> like, God, I can't even see him. <laughs> so aggravating. But yeah, up, up Down's great. We'll need to go back there. The pizza, though. They need to cook a little more. Oh, the slices on the window? It's a little soft. They need to cook a little more. The problem is it's so long. The pieces are so long. If it's soft, it, like you literally have to eat it with two hands. What am I? There's a, a lot of flop. Yes. Do you guys like too much flop? I'm with Davy Portnoy on this. I don't like slop. Davy Portnoy. Davy. <laughs> Definitely Davy. Yo, what up, Dave? Do you guys like CC's pizza? Yeah, if I'm f- drunk and I want to spend five dollars. <laughs> Where even is that? I haven't been to C- County. I haven't been to CC's since college. The mac and it's cheese pizza. S- <laughs> Fire. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. Cecil Whitaker. Is that like, is that like Pizza Street? Like, What's is Pizza the same Street? Thing? Isn't that Pizza Hut? That's Wing Street. No, CC's no, is pizza a pizza. Street. Like, is the buffet. It's a pizza buffet. Yeah, oh, so that's yeah, what Pizza Street yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so now it's coming back to me. The pizza buffet. Pizza it's a street street pizza buffet. Also, yeah, pizza I don't buffet. And the pizza was <laughs> out, <laughs> was out no. for like Trash hours. Pizza. No. I'd rather go to Little Caesars. It was like. The dessert pizzas. Little Pizza Caesars Street, is not bad. Little Chuck Caesars cheese, isn't bad. Pizza Hut. It's not know. good. I've had like, Little Caesars in forever. Dude, pizza, you can get you get a pizza out the out the door for like hot what, and ready. Five ninety nine. Hot and ready. <laughs> yeah, it's five ninety nine. You better remember what it is. That's what insane. about uh, Papa John's? I don't fuck with Papa John's. Papa John's. They used to get us if you went to Rockwood School District. Shout out. Um, Dude, Smoothie shut King up. and Papa John's. You know rotation. that. Yeah. You oh know, yeah, ours did too. Papa John's. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Pa- <laughs> first of all, first of all, Papa himself. Dude, like a dead ass. dude Papa himself, a little racist. He's a little racist. <laughs> I was gonna say, isn't he like in trouble? Uh, Yo, Papa's shit. a little racist. Um, and I don't also, think he's there anymore. And also, no. Yo, Papa, Papa. Yo, he's fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yo, Papa, Papa John. Papa, Papa. Papa. <laughs> uh, yo, Papa John's is probably the worst fast food pizza that I could think of right now. Okay, what do you think about Fazoli's? No. Kind of smart. That's fast food pasta, right? Yeah. It's disgusting. That is disgusting. How? It's <laughs> <laughs> what is that one dollar red pasta sauce? I'm gonna, my, I'm gonna get heartburn in five seconds. Another fast food pasta place. The what was it? It's big. Biscuitis? Uh, yeah, isn't that the same? Considered like similar. A fast food, uh, similar. Eh, kind pasta? of. You can't like Spaghetti's? go through drive through. Yeah. yeah. What is it called? Biscuitis. Biscuitis. Drive through pasta. Yeah, Fazoli's. That's insane. They have like a little sampler pasta platter. You know, I like am part Sicilian, and my <laughs> fucking fifteen percent Sicilian wants to slap someone in drive through pasta. I'm part Italian, and I still eat it. <laughs> well, I don't. <laughs> Sometimes you, you just don't want to make the pasta. You, you must be you must be there. from Northern Italy. <clears throat> I'm from I'm LA. No You're like I don't even know what that means. I have no fucking comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna comment. I come Northern from where the mafia is at. We got it. It's all powerful. I'm just German. said <laughs> <laughs> that. He's like I just German. listen to orders. <laughs> I just take orders. <laughs> That's pretty, that's pretty good. I was just following orders, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit with that Holy said shit. with that said i know matt wants us out of here but i got a couple more things to say <laughs> i just remembered at the very beginning did chris you, was like i don't know if we can cuss on this podcast hold on. did you, just saying did you see oh hold on did you see the new matt reif news hilarious the one where he faced i'm liking pic? i'm liking matt reif more and more did this you hear about is, that? What? What? He face tuned his dick pic. He what? He, he has a dick pic it. out. Yeah. Oh, now I don't respect him. Yeah. He <laughs> sent it. About he it. sent it to this girl, and on the top it literally said face tune. I thought he's and got a girlfriend. Like, well, he does, but this was a girl that he was hooking up with before. Do you know Tana Mojo? Oh God. No. Yes. It's like her podcast and her friend Brooke. Yeah, I kept, that's all I so know about what's currently yeah. happening is that he like went on this podcast when he was with her mm-hmm. and like a bunch of shit he said on the podcast yeah. was like news to her and she was like yeah, hella she was pissed. Like, oh, okay. Like all this shit he do- <laughs> like yeah. did or who he is fucking like and yeah. she was like, "Oh, that's fucking great." Like yeah. she learned it As from you're the like podcast. literally telling me that you like want to spend the rest of your life with me, like dope. And then yeah, they He's a about traveling him. comedian. Well, yeah. 
Back in the day, they used to call them jesters. <laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? You kind what? of look like a gesture right now, actually. Yeah, I do 100% look like a gesture, and I'd probably do a decent job as a gesture as well. Man, gesture. I don't know. <laughs> a gesture. Decent gesture. <laughs> no, I, dude, I could entertain a king. Are you serious? That'd be so fucking easy. I don't think you could. 24-7, oh my God. you I have think he to could. say funny. I don't know. Yeah. I think he'd him. actually be really good at it. I'd be a gesture? <laughs> That's a perfect job. He'd be the yeah. best the gesture. Pointed, the pointed feet. Or the shoes. Yeah. If anyone's belts. looking for a CJO, shout out. I Survive think I think gesture. Chief Jester Officer. I think, I, I think by far he'd be the most qualified out of anybody I know. <laughs> Katie, we need to we need to order business cards yeah. for him. I will CJO. I'll tell you what I'm making now. All right. <laughs> what? No, I meant to someone that offers me the, like ch- the CJO job. Oh, got it. it needs okay. to be competitive. Jesus. Mm-hmm. C- CJO, pay. that almost sounds like something else. <laughs> that was the last bit you wanted to get in there <laughs> at the end? Or <laughs> is there anything else? <laughs> oh, uh, all right, so ba- Matt Reif. Yeah, so, trash. I actually just unfollowed him before we started recording. <laughs> so you shouldn't follow him because his comedy special wasn't funny. Yeah, we already talked about this. Yeah, trash, trash, garbage. He's not funny. He's yeah. What do you want to talk about? The he only get fans it out. thing. He told. Okay, so he, so this tick, so this OnlyFans woman was getting in an A argument. Woman. Was getting in an argument with uh-huh. Matt Reif. Yes. She recorded her son, that's six years old, saying. Matt Reif, you don't know anything about science. And then Matt Reif was like, because he like mispronounced the, f- the dinosaur's name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Matt Reif was just ripping on the six year old kid. Oh yeah, I remember he was and ripping on the kid. It was right after the helmet. Hilarious. No, no, this no, is that hilarious. Was that was Santa Claus no, isn't real. No, and I know. Your mom the helmet thing helmet happened and yeah. came out, and then this yes. came out. He after yes. the he literally goes, yeah, ba- so his, yeah, he's he, ripping on a fucking. He got kid. he got backlash because he said his mother buys his presents with OnlyFans <laughs> profits. Yes, it's like a it's slicker. hilarious. It's a fucking kindergarten. Thing. It's hilarious. <laughs> Get a six year old off Instagram. It. It's you're gonna put a six year old in a fucking debate with a com- uh, a comedian. Like probably the one person I mean, you it wasn't don't a want to debate. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't a debate. It's you, you don't, don't even respond. Six year old. Don't respond. Just, say, just yeah, just take. Also, a six year old in Instagram. No one gives a fuck about your take, bro. You're yeah, six. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That was not. I will. But he doesn't even. Like, I will punt you if you come into this podcast room right now. That he's making a take. Yeah. He's a fucking six. <laughs> yeah, year that's old. what I'm saying. Get him off the <laughs> platform. That's why I'm saying you got to make fun of the mom for being an OnlyFans. She yeah. goes, I never made money by showing myself. It's, yeah, you make money by uh, extortioning your six-year-old kid. It's like, good job. Now you're child abuse, going back to what we were talking about earlier. <laughs> oh Holy shit. Full what a great circle. way to wrap and, that up. And with that. <laughs> so, yeah. that's. I think the whole the whole Matt Rife situation is hilarious. I want to say, I think my IQ was like a good five, six points higher two hours Before ago. This, yeah. And I feel like I've lost something I can't get back. Like my innocence was taken from me. I think that Matt Reif is done. I just think he had a, his five minutes of fame. Hey, he'll be making money for a long time. I think so, too. But I think people are actually realizing he's not funny. He could have had a fantastic Men, oh, career if he was actually I don't, funny. Correct. I don't think you realize That's that. That's all he needed. Most guys that are into comedy knew he wasn't funny. No, I know. But that's what I'm saying. Like, girls the Netflix special he was funny. just uh, that's, sealed yeah. the deal. He, was, he got yeah. famous because he went viral on TikTok. But that's right? just his crowd. But work. the reason yeah. why his special sucks so much is because oh he was yeah, going for it wasn't the guys, wasn't it the whole situation with the mom. The Isn't that what like propelled everything? Was like the well, just his whole he's thing. Famous no, no. <laughs> no. He's, like, famous from, like, he's famous from no, no. He's famous from like he's famous from crowd work and talking to women. Yeah, yeah. Like the, okay. I'm talking about the one, the one I remember. Like when I started actually knowing who he was, was when he like started talking to that mom in the crowd and the cookie thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. when I was like, who is this? Yeah. yeah. Like I haven't even watched any of his shit yet. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, well, yeah, his, Netfl- yeah, his Netflix special. It was like more geared towards like a male audience and like. But it wasn't he, funny. His yeah, audience he, isn't yeah, male. It yeah. Wasn't funny. And so literally, no one thought it was funny because then he opened the special with like a domestic abuse joke. And so the women are like, um, <laughs> oh, but- oh my god! You have so Todd Barry just released a uh, special on um, on uh, the All In Comedy YouTube channel. Uh, Matt and Shane's secret podcast channel. They just have 
Um, dude, they just had Howie Mandel on. He's so, funny. Howie Mandel is fucking hilarious. Yeah, he's so funny. I he's a him. comedian. Mm-hmm. He's a fan. He's, he's also a germaphobe. Did you know that? He's OCD. Yeah, yeah he wears <laughs> gloves. Yeah. He wears gloves On everywhere. America's Got Talent, he yeah. just does this. He's also the host of Deal or No Deal. True. Well, that's not that's not a show anymore. He's no my deal. second so, favorite bald man after Pitbull. He talked to... <laughs> <laughs> that's weird. Uh, he I told going to go a different way. He told a story about second how he... Favorite bald man. You know how all Dave and Buster's have the Deal or No Deal game? He has a story that he told about how he went, on, went into uh, Dave and Buster's and went up to someone who was like, deal or no deal and the dude like freaked the fuck out get away and, uh, from he's me. like yeah, yeah the first thing he was like get away from me i mean that's and he, what anybody would yeah, do I mean, would do uh, get the and, fuck and off and me they never Randall. realized it was howie mandel and howie mandel was like that was the first and last time i ever did that well yeah I don't I know if I recognize enti- any I famous think that person it, coming up. To I think oh, that dude, how are you? Howie Mandel, you would, you would totally be able to notice. 100%. Yeah, you dude, would. Dude, you'd be super not surprised. Just like people do out not of nowhere. Know. I would My mind's not going to be in that. Like, people just about do it. not know. Like, they get, they don't pick that up or recognize people. That's like something I've so noticed weird. that, like, it's like a completely I'm different always, context. I'm always recognizing, like, people's faces or voices and shit. Like, I'll hear, like, an ad and be like, oh, that's literally, I'll pick up on their fucking voice. Or like, yeah, like John Cena or and like, Honda commercials. Or, or you like even all the way back to like I'm not to go too far into like the game shit, but like literally like Donna and Fez, they were voice actors in Halo Three. Wait, Donna and Fez from, from that, that 70 show? show? They were voice actors as the random Marines. In Halo <laughs> Three, I knew that because I was watching the show and I'm like, that's fucking Donna. You in know Halo what's 3. you know what's so funny? Like, what the fuck? Like who's gonna pick that up? Like, I, <laughs> So I have a naughty or nice list. I put um, Clarence Thomas on it. Don't know who that is. So he is on. the again the uh, he's on the Supreme Court justice. Then I put Jonathan Majors on it. Don't know the who that other, is. The other you don't talk, know Jonathan Majors? No. We talked about Jonathan Creed Majors three. earlier. Did I talk about him? Marvel. He's the Marvel. He's oh, like the main Kane. Marvel that thing Kane. that just came out. Yeah. All yeah. that shit. Yeah. What? He beat the shit out of his girlfriend. What? Or whatever who is happened. He? He is uh, here. He's in. Ca- he's, he's fired can- and canceled. Uh, <laughs> who is he? So he was playing the new Marvel super villain. Do you know him? He's uh. Mm-hmm. He's wait. Where is? What it? was his character? Here. He was Kang in the new Marvel movies. Hold so on. they like were building the whole world around Kang the Conqueror. Yeah. Mm. Which was him. Not familiar. And he was in Creed. The, the newest Creed. Creed. He was the <coughs> so wait, I thought that was Michael B. Jordan. No, he's the friend. Creed yeah. is Michael B. Jordan. Okay. He, he, he was the, the villain. third one. So he's Let me tell you, he took, he took Kang the Conqueror to a new level. I was so... I was actually... I <laughs> didn't keep so up with this in any way. My I have one note because I didn't keep up with that story we in any way. just talked about Matt Rife getting canceled for that. In any way, except for... I saw the video that released, like the street video of that altercation and the only thing i saw in the video was that they were in the car and then he got away from her and he started just running away and she chased him that was Hmm. the only context i had Hmm. about that situation i read i saw he was guilty and i was like oh shit that video wasn't i mean there must have been way more evidence but like so there there was street footage of them in a vehicle and he was trying to get her off of him and because he was like he just started running like he was like I'm out, and then she chased him. I think he already had uh, beat her. Mm, yeah, yeah, it must have been point. like some other things, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, sounds like Chris Brown and Rihanna. Holy shit! That you was just so yeah, bad. So you give would him ten years and he'll be back. That was it's so just, bad. Bro. It's just insane that these people in this position of power uh, don't realize the circumstances that they're putting themselves in. Like you are making. They think they can get away with it. Yeah. 15, 20, 25 mil a year off Marvel. What are you doing? Beating women. I think a lot of this walk actually away. came yeah, before Marvel. They think that walk away. See you later. No, I think they think they're untouchable. Well, first of all, they're not. Well, clearly. Yeah. yeah, we know that. But Chris Brown is back. I'm, yeah. I, so I, I like Chris Brown. See? And he see, did he's some back. fucked up shit. So did Rihanna. I like Diddy. Oh, see, now it's being even twisted. So do you, li- so do you like R. Kelly? Yes, I like R. Kelly. You're sick. R. That's Kelly was the one that pissed you're, on girls, uh, right? You're, you're yeah, actually that's sick. bad. Yeah. Oh, so that's not the one. Oh, not the a one little one golden there. shower's bad. Not hitting. <laughs> no physical assault. Um, <laughs> little golden shower's bad. Draping. 
No, R. Kelly is a piece of shit. Yeah. And you just said you like him. His music. He doesn't like you him do as a person. You have to be able to like separate the I person that's from why, the... Yeah, that's why I like Chris Brown. You're going to tell yeah, me... Like, exactly. What the hell are you? Like, hella contradictory. No, no, no. She's like, that's why I like Chris, Chris Brown. Chris Brown doesn't even have that many bangers. Kanye, though? Look at me now. Kanye? You see that Kanye Chris video? Brown has fire Did you guys music. talk about the Kanye video that somebody recorded? New one? The one of him at a party, like going on that whole... Like, about St. Louis? Oh, I saw that. No. No, no. the one where he oh, was he just talking about, about like, St. Louis. I'm going to tell you how the fucking world works. Yeah. And he started talking about like Black Rock and like all this shit. And then the chick's telling him to calm down. He's like, he's like, None of y'all are fucking with me. Like, I know you're not fucking with me or whatever. And she's like, chill. And he's like, get the fuck out. Like, the person recording <laughs> and the boyfriend's telling her to chill. And he's like, no, no, she's out. She's, she's out. out. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Do you ever I watch that? Have you watched that talk yet? anymore? I, you know what? At this point, I'm starting to think two things. Number one, Kanye is crazy. Number two, he might be onto something. A lot of the people in the comments were like, why do I low key side with Kanye right now? Because <laughs> he was just talking about it, like literally, like he was like, "Let me tell you how the fucking world works," and that you guys don't have a say in anything that's fucking going on. <laughs> I mean, even even Daniel Tosh going back to like this. Th- Actually, I shouldn't even say what I'm about yeah. to say. <laughs> Daniel Tosh made a joke on his podcast earlier about how him and his wife went in and uh, for a TV show and. Uh, uh, the Hallmark person he had on the podcast that he was talking to, he's like, so was it a Jewish lady? And he's like, of course. <laughs> and I was like, God damn it! It all adds up. Maybe there's something we don't know. Um, How do you feel about that? Have, so <laughs> let's, de- let's delete those last know, 15 seconds. You guys know <laughs> on uh, SNL... Like back the, it down. Back it down. Can we put a marker on that? Yeah. <laughs> On shout S- out on to SNL, the marker you're the, making yo, on the shout file. Out, shout, out Is- shout out Israel. All right, sorry. <laughs> shout on, out. On Does SN- that make it better? I got. I gotta tell you, it's two hours and change in. I ain't edited nothing. Whatever's in there is the world's gonna hear. Oh. On SNL, the weekend update. It's Hopefully, okay. they don't listen, listen to this long anyway. <laughs> oh, if you're still shit. listening, you leave a comment. The jokes they wrote weekend? for each other. Did you watch that last weekend? I I watched it last night. So so did I. The um the last two. I don't really remember like Michael's, but the jokes they wrote. Yeah. The SNL skit she's talking about. Oh yeah. <laughs> the yeah, weekend yeah. update. Did you watch it from last yeah. weekend? Did you? Oh, of who? The Christmas episode. Bro, were they, were they, they write jokes, jokes for each other? No matter how fucking like bad Insane. or out of touch, like you're talking about this weekend. Out. This weekend Coretta. update on SNL. Dude, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. fact that they brought her. Is it still out? Michael was, Shea and? Um, yeah, Colin Yost. It was like she's Yo. more of a black widow than fucking. Yeah. And he was like, <laughs> and then he goes, "Am I right?" <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, fuck no. no. Fuck Michael Shea. <laughs> fuck Michael Shea. No, listen to one of the Separate jokes. Separate all your thoughts about them. We're just talking about that situation. I don't like, like Michael Shea because <laughs> he, he took out. Psych. Uh, he went uh, after Shane Gillis. And he was one of the people that didn't support him after he got canceled from SNL. Okay, well, anyway. And let me tell you, Shane Gillis is a thousand times funnier than fucking Michael Shea. Sorry, Michael. He almost almost died from COVID as well. Maybe you should have kept your thoughts to yourself. I don't know. (laughs) The The skit, though, the skit, though, was something. Michael, like, wrote the joke for Colin. Matt, you should watch it, too. Because he's married to um, Scarlett Johansson. I like the Weekend Update, but you know it was better when Norm was on it. Norm MacDaniel. (laughs) Okay, anyways. Do you even is that know like who that the is? 90s? No. Late 90s? Yeah. Yeah. Like yes. your throwback to late Chris 90s Farley. SNL? Chris like, Farley where are you at, Katie? Why don't you know about that? You yeah, don't know? Fuck. Late 90s. I mean, you're Literally talking, you're talking about you were three you're you talking, watching SNL. You're talking Bring about it. SNL now, which is a dead show Bring that no it one back. watches. No, I don't. I don't. I literally no. haven't the watched Christmas it. Christmas episode. Yeah. I don't watch it. I'm even isolating it just to this part of the Christmas episode. It was It was pretty fucking funny. You have to watch when we get back. What does all the old people bring up one skit during the holidays? The Sweaty balls. Dick in a box. No, no. it's sweaty no. balls. It's or sweaty balls. The other, or everybody still goes back to the um, like Adam Sandler. The Thanksgiving and, one. Yeah, Adam yeah. Sandler's a goat. Adam Sandler skit and the Chris Farley skits. Mm-hmm. A- anyone that the doesn't think Adam shit, like, Sandler is a goat in comedy is insane to me. What were you about to say about the skit though? The Black Widow one. <laughs> the one I said. She's more of a Black Widow. So they have. Than... I don't. I forgot what the lady's name was. They like brought this like. He know what, what was Coretta her? Coretta Scott King. Yeah. Her. Her. Oh, is that Martin Luther him. King's? Might be him. <gasps> Wait, now. was that her? 
the I don't think it was actually that wasn't actually her there. I don't think it was. Just look at it. No, it wasn't her. I it was would be really bad <laughs> if it was she her because the joke is no, no, they no, write no, the no, jokes no. for heart the heart other drop. person and they have to mm-hmm. read them. Yeah. And they literally were like, then they and then so he was like to make all this to bring all this like you know we have a special guest and it's like some like older political lady, activist like a black philanthropist lady. yeah who's like not up to date on these jokes and they're like just so fucking the, the like, last one um michael che wrote for colin was like oh something about um scarlett johansson because that's his wife in black widow in her and, art and films. Her little art films <laughs> or whatever <laughs> And um, he like said something. He was like, "That's not the only Black Widow I like." And then said something about like Martin Luther King's wife is the best Black Widow. <laughs> and then and he literally goes, "Am I right?" And he had to go, "Am I right?" <laughs> to the chick they brought on, and she was like, "Oh, it was Hattie Davis." Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was so pissed. But the joke was, she was about like, and then no. Colin <laughs> wrote, Scott King. Colin He's wrote like, one for Michael right. about like the Middle East and everything. She was laughing through it. Yeah, but she, she, was, yeah. Like, but she was like, damn, this is about the Middle that East. Gets I mean, they know that. And it's... he was like, Colin was like, oh, wow, like great take on that. They can follow <laughs> you on Instagram, right? Yeah, I gave it like, yeah, I follow you on Instagram talking about the Middle East shit. And he was like, dude, come on. What are you doing to me? As he was reading it, <laughs> it was really bad. So, so Michael Shea can have hot takes about the Middle East, but he Shane, didn't oh, write it. God damn no. it. but Shane Gillis talking he about didn't a couple write things. It. And, yeah, hey, he did. said it. What the? F- they didn't read the jokes before. Colin Hold wrote on. it for him. I, j- have you I ever was watched just follow- I, just I was get, just following orders. I was just. How many times are we gonna say this today? I was just following. I was orders. just following orders. I was just following the script. What are you talking about? You don't think they read that shit beforehand? I don't think they do. Guarantee they do. There's no way they don't. There's no way they go in and just just say that. I don't think they their do. careers are more valuable than them just saying shit off Man, top. I don't know. Dude, I, think I don't know. The shit, aware. Dude, the shit. They tell yeah, the you sh- what the layout of the show the is. The shit they is. were saying. They sell it pretty well yeah. if they have. Chris read it loves Shane Gillis like I do. You should hate my show. And, and he's yeah. <laughs> And he's he's saying he's on board. He's focusing on the skit. <laughs> Chris Reisner, the CEO of Vi Media, just posted the ISIS uh, uh, Shane Gillis oh, <laughs> skit <laughs> in our group chat. Like, what are we talking about here? Damn right. That's that's gets gets. Uh, that. And see, no. by the way, if you don't ISIS find that auto. funny, you're not a client of they ours. Sell, I, mean, that's, sell, I think we can they, say all of they this. Sell, I'm just they kidding. sell it very well <laughs> if it was the first time. I, or the, I think if they have seen no it before. Idea. Cause you can tell they start laughing or like they start going they, oh because they they're reading the teleprompter. Reading yeah, they stop reading and they're like. You can tell he's all like he's reading it and he was like oh god because he started seeing <laughs> yeah. he was talking about the Middle East yeah. and he was like oh and he like just kept going. Because then it cuts to the other person you can still hear them in the background being like god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> we need Tim Dillon and Shane Dill- Shane Gillis to host Shane Dillis host an <laughs> SNL that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Bill Burr's monologue from like two years ago kills. He he almost got wear that? he almost got canceled. Oh. <laughs> Bill Burr, Bill, remember they were trying to cancel Bill Burr like two years. I took it. They were trying to cancel Bill Burr like two years ago. They're trying to cancel Bill Burr right now. I'm kind of hungry. Can I wrap it up? Yeah, yeah. this has been a long. Day. The last o'clock. the last thing I'll say. Oh. X Twitter side traffic up twenty two point three percent year over year. Wait, don't bring up another topic. Seven million visits. Closing notes. I have literally currently no at its peak popularity in eighteen months. Hey Eric, what's your favorite brewery again? Shout out Elon. <laughs> Shout out Elon. Are we Shout shouting out, out Elon? Elon? Everyone is making fun of Twitter right now. Apparently, due to the numbers, I mean, we could see it's up almost. I didn't know people were making fun of it. Yeah. What? How much money are they making though? Oh, shit. <laughs> People people shit on uh, Elon Musk all the time. Well, that mean, I'm talking about. Okay, but just how the much money are they making? I don't have that number. I'm just talking about site visits, sir. I mean, just you know, shout to you guys leaving the studio at some point in the near future. That's all I can say. <laughs> For real, shout out. Yo, shout out. All right, let's Appreciate. wrap it up. Yeah, Any you. closing notes for the year? Unfortunately, he's the only one with the closing script. So the the <laughs> we're on his. Did I say the five uh, guys meme last time? No, but I wrote it on there. Go ahead. Is it funny? Not really, but... <laughs> Come on, Jester. Make it funny. Close it. All right, so I, I hate Five Guys. Your burgers are $15. Go fuck yourself. Um, five Guys meme. Yo, I got $5. What can I get at Five Guys? The fuck the out. The fuck out. <laughs>
All right, and that's it for this week's <laughs> podcast. I got a shout out from Dom, our audio guy, telling Eric to stop molesting the mic every episode. Thank yo, you. Yo, Dom. Yo, Dom. This is for you. Go fuck <laughs> yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, all right. <laughs> That's uh, it. Sh- to wrap up sh- no, 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 that, no. We got. I got to read this. Hold on. No, I like I that's all, highlights. That's all the time we have for today. However, the St. Louis podcast will be back next week at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time with a new guest, new episode, new. Unfortunately, more of your fucking host, myself. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know who's. A, I, I don't know. Host. <laughs> I was trying to fly through it, and then all of a sudden, I was stumbling on words. Uh, Are you trying you to know, get rid of me already? <laughs> we still, I just yeah, joined. It's I so funny because we still have Garrett Atkins listed that he might come back on the show. I literally as made we, highlights and you just you like, touch your mic. You too told much. me to look. But as we all know, Garrett is what he has no arms, no legs, and I I think he might be missing an abdomen at this point. Yeah. Like he's like a floating carcass <laughs> in a in a chair. So. <laughs> So he's going to be hard to get back on. No, we said we were going to give him a crane, remember? Just like roll him around. Oh, that's right. Crane. Yeah. We need you're to get. Yeah. I'm going to suspend him. Like, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got a joke. Yeah. I'll save that one. Um, we got, you know, Katie doesn't like hosting anymore. So she's done. <laughs> she, she quit. She, you know, I'm out of here. Clayton was literally shitting his pants before he came on today. <laughs> We I'm got proud a, of Clayton. We got Alex that handles himself well uh, as a CEO of a podcast <laughs> studio should. I think after I don't s- touch my mic as much as you do. I, I got ADD. I got ADD. I, I'm getting he's worse. Literally, he's literally gripping it. I'm getting yeah, worse. Just stroking it a little bit. I'm there. getting. You dude, don't even need the stand, brother. You're like. I'm getting. I literally get worse. I move it all the time. I, it's because I move back and forth. Yeah, I'm all over the fucking place. I don't know, man. Um. You know, we got we got Chris here who decided to show up today. Apparently, he wasn't going to show up, according to Katie, at 10 a.m., but then he did show up. He was going. No, she assumed I, I was always on the podcast. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, I didn't gone. say he wasn't Katie coming. Katie goes, no one's coming on besides me and you, and I was like, this is going to be fun. <laughs> he literally goes, wonderful. <laughs> Our normal episode. And then we, then we had Clayton show up, <laughs> and we had Alex show up. I'm going to let you change the battery on that before I wrap it up here. <laughs> No, this shit show has gone so long. Both batteries are officially dead. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching live or later and we said something wrong, said something you hate, or said something you want to hear more about, you can visit us at halfcoaststudios.com <laughs> and leave us a message telling us all about it. Halfcoaststudios.com, by the way. What the f- <laughs> visit <laughs> ass. <laughs> They actually are in charge of production of our of our uh, podcast. So any complaints you can go you right have, to the page that yeah. says we don't share any of the views of the podcast that we have in the studio. Disclaimer. Actually, it's at the top of the podcast page with the disclaimer. Yo, but if you do want someone to sort of take care of you in the podcast, you can go to halfcoaststudios.com. <laughs> They'll take care of you usually. They could Jay drop the ball a couple if times. If you are related to know. Eric at all, I don't want your business at all. Go away. <laughs> has Dietz listened to any of the outros? That's the no, real he question. Is not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yo, for like eight weeks, I had your back. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> shout out the chairs. Shout out the mics and the broken headphones at all times. Halfcoaststudios.com. They'll get you taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a pleasure speaking with everyone today oh, and hosting man. the podcast for people of St. Louis. Again, all jokes aside, they do take care of us well. I mean, you could tell by the audio production and the visuals. Our views maybe not say it, but that's potentially a problem with me. We'll we'll bring it up in a different <laughs> different they that's don't a di- like your face. That's a different that's that's a, that's a different that's meeting. Uh, and of course, if you said any like the podcast, if you're listening, share it with your friends. I've clicked off by now. Yeah, you probably <laughs> like did you share guys. it. Comment. By now they already shared All it right, and bye. subscribed. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. Hey there, St. Louis Podcast listeners. We've got some exciting news from our sponsor, Farmers Insurance of St. Louis, led by the man, the myth, the legend, Mark Lee. Mark Lee of Farmers Insurance is recruiting agency owners here in St. Louis. That's right, Garrett, and everyone knows what Farmers Insurance is, and if they don't, they will now. 
Yes, it's kind of a household name. That said, as many of you know, a large part of our audience is made up of badass business owners, entrepreneurs, and top producing sales professionals with an open mind like yourself. Farmers Insurance is currently searching for driven individuals who aspire to own their own business or already own their own business and want to add another income stream to join the Farmers Insurance brand and own their own business insurance agency this is a stellar opportunity to build your own insurance agency from scratch take over an existing agency or if you're just a slow roller we know you the guys out there and ladies get paid to train under an existing successful agency owner before starting your own holy shit eric that means that whether you have experience as a business owner or you've never heard the word business before in your life there's a pathway to owning your own business through farmers insurance agency led by mark lee that's right. You can become a farmer's insurance business owner, even if you've been homeless in the past, just like you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> if you've ever dreamt of being your own boss, building a team under a reputable brand, and making a difference in your community by offering top-tier auto, home, and commercial insurance to consumers and businesses in your area, Farmer's Insurance of St. Louis, led by the godlike man himself, Mark Lee, has the perfect opportunity for you. Visit insurancecareerstl.com to speak with Mark Lee, the district manager of Farmers Insurance of St. Louis, to become a Farmers Insurance insurance agency owner today. Did you hear that, St. Louis? Go visit insurancecareerstl.com. Insurancecareerstl.com. That is I-N-S-U-R-A-N-C-E. Career, C-A-R-E-E-R-S-T-L.com. To become a business owner today, again, one more time, visit Insurance Career STL, as in St. Louis, dot com today, right now, this second, or reach out to us at St. Louis Podcast dot com, and we'll introduce you to Mark Lee ourselves. And I promise he won't spell out insurance and career to you. 